Hey everybody, welcome on in. Uh, also, thank you so much for that raid, Hork's Place. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's Pokemon Friday. Pokemon Friday. I also found these really cool sunglasses. These are my Pokemon catching glasses, except I'm going to take them off in a couple minutes because I can't actually see with them on. Um, how's everyone doing this? Fine. Wonderful Friday slash Saturday, depending on where you are in the world. But we got we got, we got got a nice Pokemon Friday ahead of us. Um, I got some cool... I'm going to switch these off because I cannot... I can't... I can't see anything without my actual glasses. <laughs> they look really cool. They're really stylish. The TV turned on by itself. That was me. That was me. I used my... I used my magic powers. That's what these sunglasses are for. They're like the... They're, they're like the um, Tony Stark glasses from the second Spider-Man movie. I went to the mall and bought a whole bunch of things you didn't need. Ooh, what'd you buy? Oh, JB, you're watching One Piece. Holy shit, I love One Piece. You feel like me? It's just as extra as them. How's everyone doing? Also, I want to scroll. We got Nat. Oh, Nat, I'm having a fantastic night. Thank you so much for asking. And thank you so much for, for popping on in to hang out. We got we got Horks. We got Endgamer. Endgamer, how you doing? So this, this randomizer we started a while back, before the Nuzlocke run that we did recently... We're like halfway through the game in our randomized playthrough, so it's not it's not a new randomized playthrough. Um, it's just jumping back in where we where we left off. JB, how is your evening treating you? Were you able to get in touch with Milnoose yesterday? What does my shirt say? Oh, this is this is one of my old pieces of merch from my books. It says, "Some roads draw ever onwards, where all others reach their eventual end." And then down here, it's uh, three nights a wizard in a doorway," which is my second book. This is actually one of my shirts. I don't I don't make book merch anymore. I only make channel merch, but um, this used to be some of my merch from uh, from back when my book first came out. I think it's it's still on Redbubble. It's still available to buy. I just don't really promote it or anything anymore. Uh, a little discombobulated. All right, um, but I have some cool stuff. So originally, I, I took a venture up to ye old attic. Um, I was looking for the Digimon stuff I talked about uh, last time we were, we were playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth, like some of the old figurines and stuff I had, but I, I didn't find any Digimon stuff. Uh, but I found a bunch of like old Pokemon stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a little a little sh little show and show and tell before we start the game, because I I don't I don't know if any of it's like because I know a lot of Pokemon stuff is worth shit now. I don't know if any of this is worth stuff, but I found it in a box in the attic. It's a bunch of, like, books and stuff, so hang on. This one I'm going to save for last. Uh, so these are really cool, and I actually looked these up, and if they were in, like, mint condition, I guess they'd be worth quite a bit. But these are, like, old Pokemon comics. It's, like, one, two, three, and four of the electric tale of Pikachu. This is all stuff from when I was when I was a little kid. But I just found an attic. They're not in great shape. It's clear that they were owned by a little kid. They're kind of like falling apart. Um, but I thought it was still really cool. Are you going to buy the books in September? Hell yeah, Nat. Yeah, this is this is really cool. I'm going to put these on a shelf somewhere. Um, maybe not right now. But um, I thought it was really cool. And <laughs> this one's really funny. <laughs> Extreme. Extreme Pokemon, the guide for ultimate fans. Maybe I'm gonna need this. It's got like little little essays about all different Pokemon stuff. I'm pretty sure I got this when I was in like second grade. <laughs> it's got like little it's like a little encyclopedia. Oh, it's so cool. Alright. Um what else? What else did I find? Uh, this, I might low-key. And I don't know what... So this is the Pokemon Trainer's Guide. It's like a knockoff. Wait, look at that creature. That's not a Pokemon. That's not a Pokemon. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is it? It includes everything. Pokemon, Game Boy Yellow, Red and Blue, Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Snap, Pokemania Guide, 
cartoon series, games, and much more. Look at that fucking creature. That's just a straight up dinosaur. That's not a Pokemon. <laughs> And when I was a kid, it's like, it's got like, it's like a walkthrough. It's like a knockoff walkthrough. But, so I guess I, I took notes when I was a kid. I don't know if you can see that, but I, there's like all kinds of random shit written throughout it. That was written by like 10 year old Jay Chili. <laughs> but it's like this weird knockoff walkthrough. I don't even know how accurate it is. And then it goes into, like, and there's a lot more. Like, I wrote, I don't know what all this stuff I was writing, but I was, like, circling things and writing things. What does that say? Tony! Apparently I named my Gengar Tony. <laughs> Tony the Gengar! See, I find another funny one because like all of them have shit written after him. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Lola the Jinx! <laughs> don't forget about Lola the Jinx. I also don't know why I wrote battling, <laughs> battling. <laughs> I don't know. I can't put myself back in the mindset of like 10 or 11 year old me. I forget how old I was in Pokemon, I might have been younger than 10. <laughs> Oh, don't forget about, don't forget about Ken, Ken the Kabuto, who's also battling. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh no, I might keep, like this has, like this is a legitimate walkthrough. So when I do my, my 100% run of yellow... I might actually, like, keep this somewhere nearby in case we need it. I don't know how accurate it is, because it's, like, a third-party knockoff. Um, I got a couple more things that I found. This is kind of cool. I don't... I don't know, like, what sets the Pokemon cards are, but this is, like... I think the set that came out... It's a whole poster. I'm not going to open it up, because it's too big, but... It's got, like, all the cards from the gold... I guess the gold and silver set when it came out. And it's really funny because it's got underneath all of them it has expected values. And all of these cards are worth like thousands of dollars. Like I'm pretty sure this Typhlosion is worth like six grand now. And they're like, expected value six dollars. Just, just say six dollars. Don't, not a big deal. It's just six dollars. <laughs> but it's really, and you can tell that it's not a first party thing. Because on the back, oh, I guess I am going to open it up. On the back, there's another one for Digimon cards. <laughs> That's like the ultimate blasphemy. <laughs> Putting Pokemon cards and Digimon cards on the same poster. <laughs> oh, so I was 10 when Jin... Oh, so I was. So the 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 thoughts that are in this, in this knockoff Pokemon guide are from probably like 8-year-old Jay Chili. Because I was 10 when Gen 2 came out, and this would have predated t Gen 2. So, um... Ken, Ken the Kabuto and Tony the... Tony the Gengar. Apparently I was I was given Pokemon wonderful names even back then. Uh, and then I have one more thing, which I actually... This is the favorite of the things that I found. Um, and it's actually in really good shape. I don't know if it's, if it's legit worth anything. It only cost... <laughs> it only got... Oh, it's not... The light's too bright. It only cost eight ninety five at Kmart, <laughs> but it's the Pokemon the first movie art book, and it's got like all this this like art from the first movie and all these like little descriptions of things from the first movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are the same age. Pokemon's like four months older than you. Um, I think I was in first grade when Pokemon got real big in America and I think I was in third grade when gold and silver came out but yeah this is really cool and it's like in legit decent shape oh there's a little there's a little crease in the back but it was 895 back in when did Pokemon the first movie came out in 1999 I know the second movie came out in 2000 because it was Pokemon the movie 2000 Alright, that's all the stuff I had to show off. I just thought that stuff was cool. 
I wanted to share with you. I did not find the Digimon stuff yet, but it was also like 100 degrees in my attic, so I was only up there for like 20 minutes, and I was like, I gotta get out of here. Oh, the movie can't. So that that's from 1998. That book's from 1998, and it costs nine nine dollars in 1998. <laughs> oh, I played Nexomon on the stream once. We I couldn't get into Nexomon. All right, let's uh, let's hang on. I'm gonna pause, pause, get out of here, Spotify. We're gonna Spotify, get out of here. All right, we're gonna play Pokemon. Here we go. Um, I gotta set up our roster. I don't remember who's on our team. I don't remember who's on the team. So hang on, let's. Let's get our sprites. I don't remember who... It's been so long since we've done the randomized playthrough that I don't exactly remember who's on the team. Uh, and this is just a regular playthrough. This is not a Nuzlocke or anything like that. Well, it's a randomized playthrough, so... You remember grade 3 and 4? The boys were going nuts over Pokemon, but then it changed to come grade 5. The fads change fast. Yeah, and Pokemon just can't, like, the cards and everything, just within the last five years, have gotten crazy popular again. So they're worth, like, a crazy amount now. Again. Nexomon can actually have more story content than Pokemon and Digimon combined. Ooh. Yeah, I, I tried whichever the... Is, is there more than one Nexomon game, JB? I tried the one that came out for the Switch. Maybe about a year ago? And we played it like twice on stream and I got kind of confused and frustrated and I just didn't, haven't turned it on since. Ooh, a Charizard card worth 280 bucks. Hell yeah. That's so awesome. I wish I, I have not located any of my old Pokemon cards. I was low-key hoping I was going to find some of them up there because I'm pretty sure there's some of them still around. I think I got rid of some of them, but which I'm kicking myself in the ass for now. But, um... I'm pretty sure there's still some around. I just don't know where they are. Um, but that's so awesome. I wish, I really wish I still had all my cards. You got a collection in the making since 1998. Hell yeah. I, I've fallen down the rabbit hole of all those YouTube channels that do the, uh, like they open up the packs of cards and it's like, oh, we got this. Um, I could just watch those videos for hours. There's like something super calming about just watching someone sit in open packs but it's becoming a problem because now i want to buy pokemon cards and open them and i'm like oh they're expensive <laughs> uh they were cute half the time and deadly but yeah i remember there was like we were fighting like a giant dragon jb and i was like what is happening my tiny adorable creatures can't battle this dragon uh nexomon extinction was the one that i played all right, so wait, let's see who is on our team. Who's on our team? Uh Okay, so we got Ivysaur. Hang on, we got to we got to set up our roster cuz we haven't done we haven't done the randomized playthrough in a while. We were on the uh the the Nuzlocke for so long, I forget who we have on the team. Okay. So we've got Ivysaur. There's Ivysaur. We got Scooby Mew, who I'm pretty sure is Mew. Yep, we got Mew. Hang on, where is Mew? There's Mew. Mew! Come on in. The water's fine. Catching Mew is a whole saga because they kept changing into Ditto on me. But yeah, Horks, if you've got if you've got a solid collection, you're probably sitting on a solid investment. Um, because Pokemon cards right now are at the peak of as far as what they're worth. All right, let's see. Wings is a Dragonite, I believe. Yep. We've got we've got a beef. We've got a really beefy team. This is the the Dragonite that we caught in freaking v v Vermidian, I think, in the forest, or right outside uh, Viridian. All right, we got a Dragonite. <laughs> this is such a fucked up team. Uh, okay, Wings. Uh, Swiggle. Swiggle's our starter. Our starter, Polyrath, who was a Polyrath from the start. We did not evolve him. We just got Polyrath as a starter. Uh, where is Polyrath? Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't prepared with the roster, so I'm, I'm quickly setting that up so everyone knows who's on our team. Alright, we got our Poly... Oh, that's right. Polyrath is, is weird because there's weird transparency, but 
Uh, oh well, nothing I can do about that on the fly. And Mewtwo? Oh, a fl okay, a Flareon. Okay. I don't remember having a Flareon, but all right, we got a Flareon. I also don't remember where we are in the game, so um, there's there's gonna be a there's gonna be a, a small adjustment period because it's been it's been like two months since we played the the randomized, and we got Shy Glizzy, <laughs> the Aerodactyl, and don't forget everyone if you have any name that Pokemon cards, um, you can use them to name that Pokemon or give our Pokemon's names. All right, there we go. All right, we got our we got our, our roster set up. Uh, not counting G-Max because I haven't looked them all up yet. I only need 16 more Pokemon to complete the national decks of, po of cards. Oh, my God, that's amazing. That's incredible. Do you have any cards that you've had, like, graded and they're in, in the, like, hard cases with, like, if they're whatever level of mint condition they're in? Uh, a dragon that means extinction. Yeah, that's probably the worst option of starting. No, no, we were fighting. We were fighting the dragon. It was like a giant dragon. Um, we. I think I started with like a ghost or a psychic guy. I don't remember. Maybe one of these days we'll we'll go back to to Nexomon because it's it's been. I'll probably if we do, I'll probably start over. All right. So we got our team. Where are we? Oh, we're. Did we? Did we beat Giovanni already? Oh no, this is, okay, so we beat Giovanni in. We, we beat Giovanni in the Sylph Company, which means we can go to, to, um, the tower? Oh no, we can go fight. Uh, we can go fight Sabrina. Also, I think I took the long way out of this building. I think there was a warp that would have taken me right back to the start. Maybe not. Like I said, it's been it's been a very long time since we've jumped into this playthrough. So, it's going to take a hot sec for me to remember what we've done and what we haven't done. But I think we can go fight Sabrina now. And we got a real beefy team. There's a good chance we can beat Sabrina. Because <laughs> if, if I'm remembering correctly... Yeah, Swiggle, our, our Polyrath is at level 42 already. The Extinction game is very confusing in the first place unless you played the first one. What uh What is the first one available for, JB? Hey, if I need it, if I need it, I'll refer to my my knockoff Pokemon guy. <laughs> Not that it'll help us with what Pokemon are wear since it's randomized, but uh, it'll tell me where to go. <laughs> uh, we gotta go to the Poke Center. Half of our team was dead. But yeah, what is the original Nexomon for? What uh, what console or is it on Steam? Can I play it on Steam? Sleep? What the? Sleepy. Fuck is that? And Woof! Oh, we've t we've got a full house. We got a full house. Woof! How you doing, my friend? And Sleepy, how are you? Well, come on in. Woof! I was loving everything that was happening during your stream yesterday. Let me just say, oh, to pack a stream loot for Woof! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's get some stream loot too. To Woof. Yeah, pack inbound, inbound Jump's special over. delivery hotline. Ooh, I want to have the fullest house possible hotline. The first game is on Xbox. I know for sure it's on Steam. Ooh, hell yeah! I'll take a look at it on Steam. Maybe we'll check out the first Nexomon because the second one I was very confused. I had no idea what was happening. Full house, fuller house, the fullest house. 
that's the that's the final season when they're all in it's not even a house anymore they're just in a retirement home the fullest house I guess we're just gonna fight Sabrina is this yeah I never watched fuller house also, I remember being stuck in this gym for like 45 minutes last time. Oh shit, did we just... Did we just do it? I was stuck here for like 45 minutes the last time. I had a vision of your arrival. It's my girl! My girl Sabrina! Sabrina, best girl of Gen 1. Can't can't even change my mind, chat. Sabrina's my girl. I'm just a mon guy, but I'm mainly a Pokemon fanatic slash nerd. That's there's nothing wrong with that, JB. We're all Pokemon fanatic slash nerds. We're all about that Pokemon life. How are you how are you feeling about the Diamond and Pearl remakes that are coming out real soon? I I still have to watch the iCarly reboot, Sleepy. I'm excited about that. Sabrina, why do you have a Polyrath? You're supposed to have Psychic Pokemon. Oh, Reddit 50-50. Hell yeah, Sleepy. Hell yeah. I hope you have fun. I hope it's really entertaining. Oh no. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot our Ivysaur na is named Lethal. For our dear friend Lethal. Uh oh. Uh, no, that was, uh, that was a different game, Sleepy. That was our Nuzlocke. Ass Eater died. Everybody died in the Nuzlocke. But, if you have... If you have a card, you can make sure that our next catch is a new... is Ass Eater V2. Yeah, all the, all the old characters are dead. <laughs> We did a we did a Nuzlocke up until a couple weeks ago, and all of our characters died. Wait, she has to have, does she has to have a whole team of Poliwhirls and and Poliwraths? Please stop, Sabrina. What are you doing? I thought this was the Psychic Gym. Underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore sleep wants to name the next Pokemon Broken Heart Broken Heart Broken Heart Oh shit ass okay Not ass eater Okay I'm gonna write it down We'll catch this isn't this isn't a Nuzlocke so we can we can catch anything we want <laughs> Yeah shit ass I got it Oh no. It's okay. Again, this isn't a Nuzlocke, so I'm not that concerned. <laughs> Scooby Mew! Go get him! Go get him, Scooby Mew! Oh. Alright, give me something good. Oh, com I'll take- hell yeah, Comet- oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh my god! That was incredible! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... There we go. There we go. Oh. Wait, is Sabrina's name Jessica? <laughs> I just noticed that she's named Jessica. This is not. Sorry, I lied. This is not. This isn't Sabrina. This is Jessica. The. The Polly Wet Wag. Or Polly Whirl slash Polly Rat slash Psyduck trainer. 
sorry, I, I had her mistaken for somebody else. Oh, sorry, it's a gold deck. Oh no, not Bubble Meme. Whatever will I do? We're, we're extremely OP. <laughs> Come on, Golduck. Just get on out of here. Get on out of here, Golduck. You just came here from day three of a Crystal Nuzlocke. And you've had no deaths thus far. Ooh, hell yeah, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. We uh, we unfortunately lost our entire team last time uh, for our, our blue random or our blue nuzlocke. So we're we're just having a little chill randomized playthrough right now. And as for the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, I'm so hype it's not even funny. Hell yeah! I'm really excited for them too, JB. Sorry, I missed, I had a scroll up. I, I somehow missed that message, so I apologize for the delay. Um, but that's really awesome. I'm really excited too. I'm more excited for Legends Arceus, because Legends Arceus looks like it's going to be really hype. I cannot wait to play some Legends Arceus and get straight up murked by a Pokemon in the field. Oh, hell yeah, Horks! I had, I had, um, so we use this, we use Stream Loot here, and there's a bunch of cards that allow, basically, chat to make my playthrough more difficult, and they banned me from using, basically, any of the decent Pokemon that I had at the last minute, and it ended horribly. <laughs> Ooh, why terrifying, JB? Ooh, that's so exciting, Horks. I'm definitely going to be playing some uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I haven't decided which one I'm going to get yet. But I'll probably be playing those for about a solid week on the channel. <laughs> no, 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 JB, just be like just be like the, uh, the protagonist of uh, Digimon Data Savers and just Square up. <laughs> Punch him right in the face. <laughs> Just square up. <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. Can we talk about how, how ridiculously OP rap is in the first generation? Ooh, that's really exciting. I'm... I'm planning on doing one generation a year, um, and doing, like, full playthroughs of all the games. So we're still, hopefully, I'm hoping we get through Gen 1, because I, what we started with was a vanilla run-through of blue. Um, this is our randomized run of red, and then we're gonna do a 100%, or at least as far as we can do 100% with just a single game of, of yellow after we finish this randomized playthrough. And we might throw another another Nuzlocke in there just for good measure. Nat, thank you so much for that lurk. I really appreciate it. Furry Lolitas, my friend, welcome on in. We just got the Marsh badge. We just beat up. It wasn't Sabrina. Thank goodness. I don't. I don't. I don't like fighting Sabrina. Sabrina's my favorite. I don't want to fight Sabrina. It was apparently her name was Jessica. So it totally wasn't Sabrina. It was Jessica. Data Squad, Data Squad, you did not Data Savers, Data Squad, I'm sorry, and no, I have Mentor Energy, not Protagonist en that's okay, JB, that's okay, everyone needs a solid Mentor. It's gonna do a Nuzlocke a month of each gen, but there's lots of other challenge runs I want to do between two, so I'll space out more, hell yeah. Well, you, you do, it seems like you primarily do Pokemon on your channel. Whereas we only do Pokemon Fridays, so I only play Pokemon on Fridays. Oh no. Oh wait, was it trying to leave? Was was trying to leave when we got stuck in here last time? I think it might have been when I was trying to leave and I couldn't get us back to the exit. 
that I got us stuck here for like 45 minutes just running between teleporters. Oh, hell yeah! I'm sorry. This might- I, I may have only had a chance- I know I saw you play in Psychonauts once. But most of the time that I pop on by, you've been playing Pokemon, so I'm sorry about that. Oh no. Wait, hang on. Is there- Is there a guide? Is- Is there- Let me break out the third party. The third party. 20- 20, 25-year-old. Oh, here we go. Saffron City. Does it tell us- Oh my god, it does! <laughs> Alright, we gotta- Oh, oh wait. We're almost there. Boom. There we go. Look at this. 25-year-old knockoff strategy guide carried me through with this weird-ass creature on the front that's definitely not a Pokemon. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm keeping that right there. That might come in handy. Psychonauts! Yeah, Hork Hork's Place was playing some Psychonauts on their stream a couple couple weeks ago. No, 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 no. Furry Lelitis, it's not cheat. It's a strategy guide. It's a str it's strategy. It's the trainer's guide. It's it's strategy. <laughs> it's a vintage strategy guide. <laughs> yes, yeah, is it not is it not Friday for you, Furry Lolitas? I feel like we're in the same time zone. Maybe we're not. I thought we were. It's a it's a vintage strategy guide that I found in the attic. <laughs> that uh, childhood J Chili, eight year old J Chili, made a bunch of notes. Apparently, I named my uh... <laughs> apparently I named my my Gengar Tony because for some reason I wrote Tony next to Gengar when I was eight. I have no idea why. All right, so let's go let's go to Fuchsia. Oh, good morning. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little rest and relaxation. Uh, okay, so we gotta find... Let's see if there's anyone cool. Uh, this is also... Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can go this way. This is not... This wasn't the preferred... Like, this isn't new grass. Well. I don't know who I fought and who I haven't fought. We can go this way, though. Yeah, apparently I named my Gengar Tony. And my Kabuto was Ken. And what was Jinx was Lola. I wrote I wrote a bunch of names next to all the Pokemon. I don't know if those were the nicknames I gave them in the game. <laughs> Alright, I'll name if if I get a Tony or if I get oh god. If I get a Gengar anytime soon, I'll name him Tony. <laughs> in memory of my childhood Gengar. Whoa! Oh, what? I guess there's just Magikarp hanging out in the grass here. Okay. You know? You know, I don't I don't ask questions. Also, I haven't bought any great... Oh, yeah, did I buy great balls? There we go. He just hit him with a great ball. Maybe he'll stay in there. Just stay in there. No. Alright, now I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to rough you up. I'm gonna have to rough you up now. You should have just stayed in the ball. Oh, no. I accidentally killed him. Oops. Well, so much for shit ass the Magikarp. Maybe we'll get another Magikarp. Oh, I don't want a Pidgey. <laughs> yeah, that Magikarp's just trying to just trying to live its its best life there in the grass. <laughs> it's like, please, please give me some water. I've been here for thirty long years. Please, just one glass of water. Man, I want that Pidgey. Oh, we didn't. You know what? I don't think we got Fly. Oops. We should go get Fly. It's gonna make our lives much easier. I could also go to Fuchsia that way.
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna backtrack a little. Oh, let me get back on the road. Whoa! Excuse me, sir? What are you doing out here? Uh, I get. Oh, he's gonna die. Don't die, please don't. No, don't die. Okay, whoa. I'll take it out, Kazam. All right, here, get in the ball. Holy crap. No, get in the ball. <laughs> Sir, please, get in the ball. I might actually put you on the team. No. No. Who knows, who can, who knows sleep? Does anybody? Yeah, that's not a Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp evolved into Alakazam. <laughs> Uh, I feel like, does Wings know? Oh, fuck. He's gone. He's gone. Well. That was fun. <laughs> what an asshole. He's just like, peace! I see what- I see your strategy! I'm out of here! Let's go get fly. I forgot to get fly. And we'll just go. Oh, I don't have the bike. No. Oh, buddy, buddy, you're out of your league. Buddy, buddy, I'm so sorry for what's about to happen to you. Oh, Ghost Rider. Oh, the Ghost Rider. Okay. Oh, he's got a Kabu Tops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, Squirtle. Oh, Furry oh, Lolitas. Making, making it rain. Hot glizzies. Making it rain. Hot glizzies all over the place. Uh. It's, but he's a go he's not a bug catcher, he's a ghost rider. <laughs> what if in the randomized like you just see like bug catchers running around catching kabutops in their nets? Also, how effective are their nets when they when like a good majority of the bug Pokemon are like giant bees? <laughs> Uh, I didn't see who it was. I guess not. I, I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, Exegator! Oh, <laughs> he's fucking. He's like, would you say something to me? Huh? And then the other two are like, yeah, yeah. Did you say something to him? You got a problem? Look at that fucking terrifying face. It looks like he's gonna murder us. <laughs> oh, it was. It was a bug catcher hotline. Um, so this is. I have. I have a randomizer set up on the game. So it randomizes all the trainer Pokemon, all the random encounters, and it randomizes like their their class or their name for the gym trainers. So when we battled Sabrina, Sabrina's name was Jessica. <laughs> I don't know who Jessica is. What? Where is Jessica in the game? <laughs> it's like, yeah, what'd you say to us? Please stop shooting your nuts at me. Alright, let's just let's just send Flurry on him. Uh oh, what is what Mewtwo is Flurry on? There we go. Oh, 
Oh, Lethal grew to level 30. I bet Lethal would be really happy about that. Razor Leaf! Hell yeah! Give me Razor Leaf. I want Razor Leaf. Let's replace... Let's replace Growl. Get Growl out of here. Lethal learned Razor Leaf! Yeah, see, Ghost Rider. Sal, I forgot her name is Sax. God damn it. <laughs> Checking on the little one. Put water bottles and the like in the fridge since it will be a long night of Phasma with friends. Hell yeah. How's the, how's the new content, Nat? How's the, uh, the, the new content that got added in? I hope it's good. I finished re-downloading it last night. <laughs> that sounds like a bad time. The Pokemon world seems like a very inconvenient place to live. Like, if you're just out cutting your grass and trying to trim up the lawn and suddenly a wild Pokemon jumps out at you, and it's like, uh... would be a really horrible wild Pokemon to jump out at you? Um... Primeape. Primeape would beat the shit out of you. Primeape would just square up and beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Ooh, it's way scarier now. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. I don't know. What's in this grass? Oh, hey, we can have our own now! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! Yeah, give me... Let's try out Razor Leaf on him. I don't think it's gonna kill him. Oh. Especially with Pokemon like... Uh, who are, who are the weather Pokemon from Black and White? Tornadus? Is that... That's one of them, I think. Just running around the region, causing all kinds of weather-related havoc. Cool. Hell yeah. Alright, let's catch him. No, don't put me to sleep. Here, get my ball. Uh... Come on, get my ball. All right, one more. There we go. Executor! Let me add the Pokédex. Legend has it that on rare occasions, one of its heads will drop off and continue on as an Execute. <gasps> it's probably the one on the left. They're probably like, get out of here, we're sick of your shit! <laughs> We got more important stuff to do. All right, we got we got per per Sleepy's redeem. We gotta name it shit ass. Shit ass the ex the execute executor. There we go. Shit ass the executor. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go get fly. Right, I gotta cross that shit ass. <laughs> Oh, what did I do? I'm trying to discipline your kid after they've disappeared for months and they just pull out champion level or legendary Pokemon. Who's going to bed? I don't think so. I'm the champion. Yeah, give me a fly. Well, I bet I can teach Fly to freaking Dragonite. Hell yeah. Alright, HM02. Use it on a Pokemon! Use it on... Uh, I don't think... Oh. Wait. Wings? Dragonite can't learn Fly? Ugh. That's so inconvenient. Because I don't think... I don't know if... Oh! Furry Lolitas says hands up for five seconds. Alright, alright. You don't, you don't have to do it, Furry Lolitas. 
I'll keep, I'll keep my hands so you can see them. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's fly. I gotta get the bike. Razor Finn, thank you so much for that follow. How you doing this fine evening, my friend? I hope you're doing well. I hope your evening is treating you well. And it's so good to have you here. All right, where's the bike shop? Bike shop. Actually, I don't know if I have. I don't think I talked to the guy to get the bike. I did it. Oh no. Oh no, hang on. The adventure continues to Vermilion City. I gotta go talk to the fan club guy to get the the coupon for the bike. Nope, not him. Oh no, it's 1.57 in the morning, you can't sleep. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you have anywhere, do you have to be up early tomorrow morning, Razor? Or will you have a chance to sleep in and just take it easy? It's the worst when you can't sleep and you have to be up the next morning. That's always the worst, the absolute worst. Sir, please, won't you give me a ticket? I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about your Pokemon, but I know the only way to get a ticket as if I listen to you talk about your Pokemon, your Rapidash. It's cute, it's lovely, it's smart, plus amazing! Oh, I definitely think so. It's stunning. Kindly. He loves it. He hugs it. You shouldn't hug a Rapidash, it's on fire. Ooh, yeah, rain noise is definitely, is definitely a real, a real beneficial option when it comes to not being able to sleep. I, I really like background noise when I'm sleeping, so a lot of times I'll fall asleep with either YouTube videos or other streams playing or something along those lines. Alright, now we fly, we ride to Cerulean City, where we're going to acquire our very own bike. Oh, you gotta be up at 7? Oh, that's an early morning, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you have to be up that early and you're still up. I feel really bad. Hopefully you're able to get to sleep fairly soon. Yeah, I remember, JB, there was like an episode of, uh... Wasn't there an episode of the of the anime where Ash was riding a rapid Ash? And the, the whole reasoning why he was able to ride the rapid Ash was because it trusted him. All right, now we can now we can take our bike out on the road, on the road to Fuchsia City. Oh, we're gonna have to go through the Safari Zone again. Well, there's no telling what's gonna be in the Safari Zone, though. <laughs> For all we know, we'll go through the Safari Zone. There'll be a fucking Mewtwo. Also, I think this Snorlax could be something else. I wonder what this is gonna be. I think Snorlax is randomized. Wake up, buddy! Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. And it probably also transformed into a different Pokemon. It transformed- No! Why? Why is it a Magikarp? No, that's so disappointing! <laughs> oh, Razor! Congrats on the Drapion! This is so disappointing! Why is he a Magikarp? Ooh, but a level 30 Magikarp is is not a is not a terrible thing. That's a big boy. That's a real big boy. Get my ball. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, that is Prime Gyarados material. I might actually put Magikarp on the team. Magikarp. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Oh, I wonder I wonder if if there's gonna be like super strong Magikarps in Legends Arceus. Okay, uh oh, nobody's reading Wait, I'm gonna look. Let's see if 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 eight year old Joe had a nickname for Magikarp in this old this old strategy guide. Oh they're announced back order. That's lovely. Alright, let's see let's see if if eight year old Joe eight year old Jay Chili had a name for Magikarp back in the day. Magikarp. Uh, no. Apparently I didn't like Magikarp. I didn't name him. Okay. I'm gonna name him... Uh... I'm gonna name him... Nemo. Nemo the Magikarp. And I'm gonna go get him out of the box. I want him. Give me that Magikarp. I mainly want a Gyarados. Question is, who are we gonna get rid of? I would get rid of freaking Aerodactyl, but now he knows fly. Uh, I think I'm still gonna get rid of Aerodactyl, and we'll just we'll just go withdraw. Uh, we'll withdraw him whenever we need to fly somewhere. Shy Glizzy. All right, get out of here, Shy Glizzy. And we're gonna bring out Nemo. <laughs> I wish that would have been a completely different movie. That would have been a completely different movie, JB. <laughs> I would have been all for that. <laughs> they find Nemo at the end of the movie, except Nemo is now a water dragon, a flying water dragon. Uh, where's, where's Magikarp? Where's that little, that little Magikarp? There he is. Let's add him. Let's add him to our team. There he is. Look at him. There we go. He believe I have a Magikarp, but he's level 30, which is good. That's a, that's a solid level for a Magikarp. Wait, you you did Wonder Trade in the in the Pokemon Community game, and you got a, a Budu for a Budu? Oh no, that's terrible! I'm so sorry. Right, hang on, I need my bike. Where's my bike? There's my bicycle. Sex got on the bicycle. You have to listen to this jaunty tune while we ride. When I think of Nemo, I don't think of a fish. I think of the Japanese cartoon Little Nemo in Dreamland. I don't know if I'm familiar with Little Nemo in Dreamland. Oh no, these are the guys... Oh wait, is it gonna be random? It's gonna be randomized, isn't it? Nope, it's still the guy with the mushroom on his crotch! Why does he have a mushroom? Oh, he's an engineer, that's why. I'm sorry, it makes total sense now. I didn't realize he was an engineer. Ooh, 49! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, that's a solid amount of Pokemon, Razor. We got a, we've got a bunch of folks in chat that have a ton. I think Lily's up to like 150 so far. 
Oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Hell yeah, I'll have to check it out. I didn't, I didn't notice who. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna let's send out Nemo. Nemo. Uh oh, it's a dragon air. Nemo, I'm gonna switch you right back out, okay? Uh oh, look at Nemo. He only knows splash and tackle. That's okay. That's okay. He'll, he'll improve. Let's send out Scooby Mew instead. If they bring back that Warren bitch from Gen 4 who trades you a hunter. Oh, I forgot all about that, JB. <laughs> I'm sure they probably will. I bet they probably will. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Oh, you got Disney Plus, so I, I haven't invested in Disney Plus yet. I haven't. I've I've seen some of the shows through other means, <clears throat> other means. Um, like I watched the first season of The Mandalorian, but. I haven't, I haven't taken the plunge into Disney Plus. Oh my god, look at all these freaking guys just waiting, waiting to attack me. Just trying to live my best life. What we got? Whoa! Excuse me, there's an Articuno in this grass. Excuse me for one sec while I try to catch this Articuno that's just hanging out. This level 24 Articuno. Oh no, am I gonna murder it? Oh no, apparently it doesn't do much. <laughs> oh no, JB. I'm sorry. We, we found there's an Articuno just chilling in the grass. Uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna die. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's only level 24. No! Oh, oh! We killed it. We killed it. Oops. I mean, I'll take a graveler. I'll take a Graveler. Critical hit! Welcome back, JB! You, uh, you missed me accidentally killing a wild Articuno. Just blow itself up. Yeah, no, this isn't it. We're just we're just having a, a fun little randomized playthrough. Yeah, we did a we did a nuzlocke a couple weeks ago, so we're just doing a a nice chill little randomized playthrough. Oh no, JP! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I've let you down. I mean, there might be there might be more of them in this grass. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh no! Stop raising your defense! I'm not gonna be able to catch you. All right there, we go. Hell yeah, Razor. I'll definitely be throwing a follow back your way once I wrap up tonight, so I'm looking forward to seeing you go live doing some Nuzlocke. Hell yeah. Uh... I don't have any... I don't have any redeemed names. Just so you guys know, there is an option to name that Pokemon via Stream Loot cards. Until, until I have some names, I'm gonna name it Rocky. How are we going? You're going to head over to play some Phasmo. Thank you so much for hanging out, Nat. I really appreciate you. I hope 
you have a fantastic time playing some Phasmo. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. This is the secret. You stay all the way on the right. I don't know if that's actually a secret, but apparently it works. Because now we're at the bottom. We made it. We made it. Oh, I was supposed to keep looking to see if there were more Articuno in there. Oops. That's okay. Oh, nothing wrong with that. That sounds really cool. I'm not familiar with Marvel Contest of Champions. Clash Royale I've heard of. I've never heard of a Marvel Contest of Champions before. Is that a, is that a mobile game raiser? But hell yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out whatever you've got. Whatever you've got going on on stream. I always try to pop by and always check out the streams of the other folks in the community that are that are streaming it's kind of what we're all about here all right i'm gonna go we could probably beat koga but i'm gonna go to the safari zone first and get surf although i have no idea what pokemon koga is gonna have or if it's even gonna be koga <laughs> he's probably not gonna be named koga he's probably gonna be like uh Tom. I don't, I don't know why Tom. It's totally give me name Tom. Tom, the gym leader. Right, here we go. We're going to the Safari Zone. Safari Zone Adventure. Just $500. <gasps> Both mobile, I stream directly from my iPhone, so it's not that good. Oh, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fantastic, Razor. I there's a couple folks in the community that do exclusively mobile PokeCheck. Whoa, I didn't even know PokeCheck was a thing. Oh, so you do PokeCheck and they'll tell you if you have that Pokemon. Ooh, that's really exciting. Um, there's a couple folks. I know Gavin who's in, in our community here, does mobile streaming, and uh, Zane does some mobile streaming. Oh, there's just some tentacle hanging out in the grass. Milnoose! Milnoose, how you doing, my friend? We're, we're catching some tentacle in the safari zone. Mm, chilly, huh? Mm. Dead Wolf 66 thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you came over from Milnoose's channel, I hope you had a fantastic time over there. Oh, he ran away. Milnoose is amazing. So I hope you were having some fun over there. And thank you so much for stopping by. Milnoose, how was the rest of your stream, my friend? The music in the Safari Zone makes me so anxious. Well, you finished Days Gone! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Ooh, what is that? Oh, just a Nidoran? No. Oh, I love that. I love that emote. I love that emote. That's... Oh, look at all these emotes. Oh, look at the cat! I love that! I love that so much, Razor! <laughs> no, 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 no. Milnoose. Milnoose. I insist. I think you're amazing. Let's bait him. Let's throw him some bait. Yeah, you eat that bait. And don't you worry about this ball I'm gonna throw at you. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, you just get inside. You, yeah, that's right. You stay inside. It was a good stream. It was problematic at times, but it was an enjoyable time. That's what it's all about, Milnoose. That's absolutely what it's all about. I'm really glad to hear it. That's fantastic. We got Nidoran. I didn't really want Nidoran, but it was there. Although small, its venomous barbs render this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. Of course we want to name it. I name everything. I'm going to name it. It's got horns, so I'm going to name it Horny. 
<laughs> Horny the Nidoran is transferred to the box. <laughs> also, anyone that's here, if you would like to stop me from giving the Pokemon horrible names, uh, if you happen to have any cards in stream loots to name that Pokemon, you can stop this madness at any time and give me some names. <laughs> Whoa! Dodrio! Yeah, we already- I used Shitass. Shitass is the... Uh, Executor. Executor is Shitass. Oh, uh, here, eat the food. Eat the food. Get in the ball. Oh no, JB, I'm really- uh oh, I missed the Pokemon. JB, I'm really sorry. I'm glad that you're back, though. Uh-oh. Can I not? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we get to the, the surf house. Ooh, look at this adorable sand true. I freaking love sand true. Here, have some food, buddy. There you go, have some food. Eat up. I get my ball. Oh, uh oh, please don't run away. Here, have some more food. Ah, uh, come on, come on, get my ball. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sand true. Sand true. Oh, and nobody's redeemed a name. I can finally... I've wanted to name... Wait, hurry, hurry, hurry before someone redeems a card. I've wanted to name a Sand True. Dusty. Since the first freaking time we played... Pokemon Blue. <laughs> and the first time someone redeemed a card, like, immediately after I caught the Sand True to name it freaking Camel Toe, and I was so mad. Ooh, stream loot packs for all! Hell yeah! Let's get some stream loot packs for everybody. Give me one sec to get a link for some stream loot packs for everybody. Get too many links, I gotta delete one. Delete that link. Make a new one. That up to 20 people can redeem, because that's the max. I'm gonna copy that link. We're gonna paste that link. There you go, everybody. Click that link to get a free pack of stream loot cards to be used on the channel, courtesy of the amazing Milnus redeeming. Um, I don't need another Sandshrew. Thanks, though. There's just Dragonite out here. I already have a Dragonite. I don't need another Dragonite. There's just Dragonite chilling out here. Uh oh, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, well, there's an item. Oh, it's EM40. Yeah, it was it was a real interesting experience, Bill News. I was all excited. I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna name this Sand True Dusty. And then someone immediately redeemed the name that Pokemon. This was back when it was still a channel point redemption. Um, someone redeemed it and immediately named it Camel Toe. I was real sad. I put old Camel Toe in the box real fast. <laughs> Was this it? Is this the secret house? Sir? No, this isn't it. No, 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 stop talking to me. This is the wrong house. Where's the, where's the house where I get surf? It's not this one. Oh no. I went the wrong way, I think. I'm meowed. You have some food, buddy. I'll get my ball. Got him. Meowth. Adores. 
circular objects wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. Yeah, I want to give it a nickname. I'm going to name it. Path 3 said, I think this is the wrong way. It was the right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong letter. I want an M. Mr. Mr. Meow. Mr. Meow the Meow. Now that I think about it, maybe my naming has not improved since I was eight. Is that up here? Uh oh. Meowth, get out of here! I got places to be! I got people to see! HMs to get! Get out of here! It's that. That's the place, I think. Shove it in your giant, your giant mouth, Golbat. Oh, no, get my ball. Get my ball. No! Oh, so Milnus, you missed, um, at the start of the stream, I found a bunch of, like, old Pokemon stuff from when I was a kid, including this... I don't, think, I don't think time ticks down in battle. Um, this old knockoff strategy guide. That's the Pokemon Trainer's Guide with some weird creature. That's not even a Pokemon. Straight up, that's not a Pokemon. That's just some kind of weird dinosaur. Um, but as I was flipping through, apparently I I wrote like a... Oh, here we go. Here's another good one. Magne Magneton. Apparently... I don't know if you can see this, but... Razor underscore oh. fin underscore thinks you'd Sometimes look better okay. without your glasses for I can't, the next five minutes. I can't tell if you guys can see, but apparently I wrote Matt under the Magneton. So I guess eight-year-old me named Magneton Matt. I have no idea why. Um, and I named Gengar. I named Gengar Tony. Oh! I think this is supposed to be Miss Midnight. <laughs> but I apparently didn't know how to spell Midnight. Wait, I can't tell if you guys can see it. I can't see it. I think my finger's covering it. But it's it's a Moltres. And I named it Miss Midnight. <laughs> but I spelled it M-I-D-E-N-I-G-H-T. <laughs> oh, Marcel the Mr. Mime! Oh, these are good. These are real good. <laughs> Eight-year-old Jay Chili for you. <laughs> Uh, and somehow spent- no, no, that doesn't- that doesn't use money, Razor. That doesn't use money, it just uses your card. Unless you buy packs, um, it doesn't spend- it doesn't use money. You, uh, you played a card for me to- to not- to go without my glasses for five minutes, which is the- the timer that's counting down. So it's- it's a little bit more difficult for me to see me right now. Oh, this is the way. No! No! I didn't- I didn't get a great haul. I got like a Nidoran and a Meowth. It's, take my money. Let me go back. Let me go back. Why would you do this to me? Hey, I know, Razor, unless you- unless you buy packs of stream loot, uh, it doesn't cost money. So that was a free pack that I sent a coupon code for. In the chat, so you didn't you didn't spend any money. Hello there. Oh, Jing, who's that? Trixie, Trixie, I don't have my glasses on. I'm pretty sure that's you. Trixie, how you doing? There's a a a, a Jing. Oh, we can name it Lola, cause that's what I named it in the book when I was nine years old. <laughs> Trixie, oh no, are you okay? Oh, you're so tired. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. 
Do you have any extra time that you can you can get some more sleep? I don't. Are we just not able to catch Pokemon that weren't? Oh, by by Jinx, Pokemon that weren't designed for the Safari Zone that are too strong to just throw a Pokeball at. Can we just not catch in the Safari Zone? You know your thumbprint can spend. Oh no, no, don't don't worry, Razor. You you didn't spend any money. Uh, you just played a a stream loot card, which are these cool little cards that let you interact with the stream. Um, you can redeem free packs with your channel points, or you can redeem packs for everybody, which is what Milnews did. And then we get a we get a link in the chat. Uh, they almost work like trading cards. You open them up, and there's different rarities and different stuff you can get, like sound effects you can play or gifts that you can play um and things that you can do like right now i'm i'm glassesless for however many minutes are left i can't see the countdown because it's very tiny peter got everyone else to decide we weren't so oh no <laughs> peter <laughs> Peter, normally I'm really proud of you, but right now I feel bad for Trixie. I'm so sorry, Trixie. I'll have put put Peter on put put Peter on the on the keyboard. I'll have a talk with Peter for you. Well, I'll have a talk with Peter. We'll straighten this out. We got you, Trixie. And for anyone that doesn't know, Peter is Trixie's cat. <laughs> you woke up and had five different takeaways at your front door. Oh no, Razor! I'm so sorry. Is there any way that you can set up like a a pin number on your on your phone so that you can't accidentally do that? I don't want a bell sprout. He's saying, Peter, Peter, we we gotta we gotta have a oh Venomoth, Peter, how could you do this? I trusted you, Peter. Does Peter, when you say Peter's name, Trixie, does Peter recognize it? Like if I keep saying Peter, is he gonna is he gonna know I'm talking to him? Oh, bye, Venomoth. We can't freaking catch anything in here. It keeps running away. I already got a Sandrew, and I finally got the name of Dusty. I'm so happy I finally got the name of Sandrew Dusty. <laughs> After it was sabotaged last time. Oh, Dragonite. His ears are in. I hear my name mode. Oh, Peter! I freaking... I adore Peter. Even if Peter's a troublemaker. <laughs> Dusty! Yeah, I named... I named my... Sa so, when we first did the, uh... The vanilla blue playthrough, which was just a regular playthrough, I... The first time I caught a Sandshrew, I was so excited and I wanted... I wanted to name it Dusty. Dusty the Sandshrew. And... Immediately after I caught it, someone redeemed. It wasn't stream loot yet then. It was still we were still using channel points for name that Pokemon, and someone immediately redeemed the card to name said Sandshrew Camel Toe, and I was so mad. So I'm so happy that I finally got to name one Dusty. PCG, the Pokemon card game is rigged. Why? Uh, oh, the community game. I thought you meant the card game. I was like, what? Oh no, why is why is the community game rigged? What happened? Oh did you just not get Did you just not get what you were trying to catch? What uh, what kind of ball did you use? Just a regular ball? Cause there are uh, there are higher level balls that give you a higher percentage. While lulling its enemies with its vacant look, this wily Pokemon will use psycho can Psychokinetic powers. I blanked on what that word was. Oh, Psyduck. What are we gonna name the Psyduck? Um <laughs> There's a bunch of balls. There's a bunch of like weird balls that are not 
balls that are in any of the games. So you have, with a regular Pokeball, you have a 30% chance of catching whatever you throw it at. With a Great Ball, you have a 50% chance. And with an Ultra Ball, you have a 70% chance. Oh, I know. Snyder. Snyder the Psyduck. There we go, Snyder. Good old Snyder the Snyduck. That's that's also true, Razor. <laughs> that's absolutely true. Oh, is it 80% for an Ultra Ball? I always thought it was 70, but I could be mistaken. I also know it for, for folks that are subbed on the channel, you get a higher percentage chance. Of, on whatever channel you're playing the game on. And I think you make more money, too. Oh, you got the gold teeth. Alright, I know I'm on the right path. The gold... There it is! That's the place! Yes! Yes! Yes, give it to me. Give me surf. Yes. Oh my god. I've won. HM03. I would have been so mad if I didn't have room in my inventory. Alright, I'm done. I'm I'm done. Take me home. Take me home. I'm finished. I'm I'm finished. Hey, Mr. Mr. Safari Zone worker. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. Pull me out. Beam me out, Scotty. Ooh, a duck trio. Oh. Are we going to be able to catch it? Probably not. Oops. Okay. Right. And with that ball. Uh-oh. Throw a rock at him. Fuck this guy. He's angry, he ran away. Uh, quit from the menu? I don't believe so. Uh, items are not randomized, just the, just the Pokemon. This time around I didn't randomize items, so items are still whatever they're supposed to be. That might be in later games, Milnus. I don't have, there's like no option to, to exit out. Papa Bear Ellie! Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome on in, Papa Bear, Ellie, and Raiders. How's everyone doing this fine, fine evening? How are you, Papa Bear, Ellie? Thank you so much for that raid. I really appreciate it. I don't need... I already have a Dragonite. Take me out. I got what I needed here. Beam me out of, of the Safari Zone. I'm ready. I'm ready to go home. My my wife and kids are waiting for me on the other side of the safari zone. Oh, hell yeah! That's so awesome! That's, that's so awesome to hear, Ellie! How's your stream? What were you playing tonight? Oops, I don't... I don't want to catch it. First time in my life I've ever not wanted to catch a wild Dragonite. There we go. Take me home. I, get, I did! I got Surf. That's what it's all about. Alright, let's teach somebody Surf. And then we're gonna go fight... Koga, or whoever Koga's gonna be. HM03! We're gonna teach that to Swiggle. Our wonderful Swiggle. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I guess Bubble Beam? Cause I want, I want to keep Hypnosis. That's good for catching wilds. And who knows when we'll run into more random legendaries in the wild.
Oh, no, no, don't use it again. All right, let's go hit the Poke Center. We're gonna fight Koga. We get our six badge. It is. It's uh, it's actually, uh, and I don't know, the light might be too bright. It's Dr Pepper cream and cream soda. It's actually really good. It's like my new addiction right now. Oh, Ultra Balls! Yes! Yes, give me them. Give me the Ultra Balls. Feed them. Oh, that's a lot of money, but that's okay. Feed them to me. They are. They're really good, Trixie. I was on the fence the first time I bought them. I, I half expected to not like them, but I was pleasantly surprised when I actually tasted them. What is with Americans in cream soda? Uh, I've never had a regular cream soda. I've never had a regular cream soda, but the the cream, the Dr. Pepper with cream soda is really good. I think it's something about the real smooth taste of Dr. Pepper along with that kind of cream soda fizziness that just really adds to the experience. First one I had was meh, but then I tried it again and was like, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> the many stages of trying Dr. Pepper. Oh, you can see. You can see. I never realized you can see the walls. You can see the invisible walls. Is there a way to go? Oh, I accidentally left. Is there a way to go to avoid everybody except for Koga? I don't think so. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Imagine if there was just a gym out there you can join to become a ninja. That'd be really rad. I would join that gym in a second. Ooh, Gyarados. I mean, not ooh, because we're going to have to fight it. Trixie, I could see you as a ninja. I could absolutely see you as a ninja. You know who I could see as a ninja, Trixie? I could see Peter becoming a ninja. I bet Peter would make a really cool ninja. Peter, if you're listening, enroll in ninja school. I believe in you. Then again, think of all... Uh-oh. <laughs> then again, think of all the all the trouble. All the, the added trouble Peter could cause <laughs> if he was a ninja. What was that movie? It was like Cats vs. Dogs or something that came out in like the early 2000s that had the the ninja cats that attacked the household. Oh, Peter, it's okay. It's okay. I'm here every night. I'm here every night, Peter. There's so many other opportunities to catch the stream. There's There's places that you can go to get like a gym you can join to become a become a ninja would it be called a gym though wouldn't it be more of like a dojo uh oh goodbye lethal Oh shit! Oh, Gyarados is flying. Manager! <laughs> oh no, we're fighting the manager! I didn't get to bed until 6 and he was literally waking me up and running to the computer. Oh! For like an hour, then he gave me the cold shoulder when I finally got up. Oh, Trixie! Oh, I'm so sorry. I do, I do appreciate. The, the adoration that I get from Peter watching the stream. Peter is an honorary chili dog.
it was it was more the the terminology that I thought was was a little bit weird, Razor. Like just saying, I joined this gym. Like I like he went down to the local gym and he was like, yeah, I want to take the course on being a ninja. Teach me the ways. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Trixie. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel like Peter will get really popular real fast if you make him an account. Seals Apple, how you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Yeah, we got Pokemon. It's Pokemon Friday. How you doing? How is your day treating you? About to use tentacle. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oops, wings is really low level. Oh, look at those ninjas. Oh, come on. Come on. Wrap them up in your big, your big goofy dragon arms. Come on, wrap him up. Oh no, he wrapped us up! No! Oh, we got him, it's okay. You just got home from teaching and stuffing your face with the leftover... So I'm pretty sure I pronounced gyro incorrect. So I pronounce it gyro, but I've been told before that that's not the correct way of pronouncing it. But that sounds awesome. That sounds like such an awesome day. And it sounds like... An awesome meal because you can never go wrong with a gyro or however it's it's properly pronounced oh oh the ninjas are multiplying they're multiplying they're gonna they're gonna outnumber us before long all right I'm running back to the Poke Center <laughs> Ooh, a Pidgeot. Hell yeah. Pidgeot in chat. You can never go wrong with a Pidgeot. Sneak by him. There's no, there's no sneaking by this guy. I never realized you could see the walls. I must have noticed that last time too. But I know back in the day, I never noticed that you could see the walls. Ooh, look at that Haunter. I love Gen 1 Haunter Sprite. Oh, that's gonna paralyze me. Oh, it didn't? Manager. Oh, they're all the manager. We're fighting all the managers here. Oh, oh, oh. That was good. Why would you send out a Diglett against uh, an Ivysaur? Haunter. Bye, Haunter. Ooh, congrats, Apple and Milnoose on the Pidgeot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's what it's all about. Oh, the manager dropped his balls. Alright, here we go. Koga! I freaking love that emote, Apple. I love that emote so much. Alright, who's he gonna actually be? ZOE! <laughs> K 
Koga! I didn't know you had your name changed to Zoe. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> New Pokemon canon. Koga's real name is Zoe. He also has a Dragonite. <laughs> That's new. That's also a problem. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Oh, does he not have any moves? Oh. Well. Uh. Tackle? Uh oh. Uh, Swiggle! Swiggle, you got this, I believe in you! Oh, Swiggle's a lot stronger. I don't. Does he not have any attack moves? Is he flying? Yep. Fuck. Flying dragon. That just paralyzes. I don't think this Dragonite has any attack moves. Why do you keep wasting X attack? Your Pokemon doesn't know any attack moves! <laughs> Koga, I mean Zoe! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> this is madness! It could definitely know rap. Because I know my Dragonite knows rap. But, if it did, it just didn't use it. <laughs> oh, Lethal grew to level 31. Oh, Drowsy. I think we'll, I think we'll just stick with Swiggle. I think, I think he actually has Muck. Uh, well, let's, we'll send Scooby Mew out. I think, I think, I think, uh, Koga actually does have a Muck. If I'm not mistaken. Give me something good in the metronome roulette. Well, that's good. That's real good. There we go. Goodbye. Zubat. Nah, we'll stick with Scooby Mew. You know what? I'd be very curious to see if, if it's possible to do an entire Pokemon playthrough using only metronome and hoping for the best. Has anyone ever done that before? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's okay though. This isn't this isn't a Nuzlocke mill news, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, Sky Attack. Okay. <laughs> I freaking love Mew. <laughs> Real talk. Mew is amazing. Oh, level thirty-seven. We defeated Zoe. Huh, you've proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. Cause you got soul. We have TM06. Contains toxic and it's a secret technique. I 
I wonder if anyone's ever done that, because I've seen... I've seen YouTube videos where people do... Like, um, can you beat the whole game with just a ditto? And that kind of stuff. So I'm very curious, I might look it up later, if anyone's done a playthrough where it's Can you beat the game only using metronome? And hoping for the best. It'd definitely be interesting to watch. Uh, I, uh, I, I guess we're just gonna go to Cinnabar now. Uh, we don't have. Can we really not? Can we really not teach fly to anyone we actually plan on keeping in our team? Uh, oh, wait, wings can learn it? Oh no, that's Surf. I lied, that's Surf. Hang on, HM02. Oh, we also have to go get, wait, hang on, we gotta get Strength. We gotta give the guy, I think it's this guy, his teeth. I would definitely give it a try. I make no promises that I could make it all the way through. But I would definitely give it a try. The trick would be trying to find a, uh, a code to, uh, let you imp- Let you switch out one of the starters for Mew, so you could just start with a Mew that only knows Metronome. Well, it doesn't- it could know other things, but its main attack would be Metronome. Swiggle. Let's teach it the wings. Mew would actually be a, a decent Pokemon to have. Is like if you're gonna do a playthrough where you can only use one Pokemon, because Mew can learn all of the the different HMs. Well, Mew can learn every move in the game. That's the the cool thing about Mew. Why? Oh, Mew's the only one? What, what else does Mew have that I could potentially get rid of? Mew's becoming our HM whore, and I don't want that. Mega Punch! I guess... Uh, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Swiggle knows Mega Punch, so that's fine. What? Oh, come on. I need to drop off some items. I got too many items in my pockets. My pockets are full. I hate when that happens. When I'm just walking around with too many things in my pocket. It's such a it's such a horrible feeling. Just really weighs your pants down and I don't I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really bad feeling. Oh, that's the wrong computer. Oh, Doctor So Fucking Sexy, I will never forget. You better believe I'll never forget. Never forget how it feels to have too many things in your pockets. And they just weigh your pants down until your pants fall down around your around your ankles and you're out in public and everybody's laughing at you. Never forget. Oh look at that adorable little dragon eye. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Don't walk don't worry, Doctor So Fucking Sexy. I will never I will never forget. You can count on me. I don't wanna please stop depositing Pokeballs. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm the one doing it. Ooh, free stream loot pack from Marshall. Hell yeah. How you doing, Marshall? Let me get you a pack. Let me get you a pack. Let 
Hey, yo, Marshall, you got pack headed your way. Guess that's it. What are all these? Ooh, and another pack. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There you go, Marshall. Second pack inbound. What are all these TMs that I've got in my pocket? TM46. Psywave. Oh. Oh. Oh, swiggle can learn. Oh, yeah. Teach it to swiggle. Ooh, hell yeah, Marshall. Congratulations. That's so awesome. How, uh, how far away and what, uh, what criteria do you still have to hit? Alright. Sorry, Hypnosis. You're out of here. It was fun while it lasted, but Psywave is really good. TM40. Skull Bash. Yeah. Give it to Wings. Wait, who's Mewtwo? Now give it to Wings. Forget about... Horn Drill? Yes. Two packs from Milnoose. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get Milnoose. Some streaming with packs. There you go, Milnoose. You got packs incoming. K. K, how you doing? How is your Friday treating you? How you doing? Oh, look at all those. Those sparklers going off, and those wonderful, that wonderful bee that I, I automatically associate with Milnus anymore. TM32, double team. No, 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 that's okay. TM06, toxic. That's okay. All right, let's fly the quick way to Cinnabar Island is Bia Pilot Town. Oh no, Kay, are you okay? I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope you're doing all right. And a pack for Milnoose, courtesy of Kay. Let's get Milnoose another pack. Thank you so much, Kay. Milnoose wants me to play Pokemon Conquest. Ooh, Pokemon Com Conquest. Ooh, okay. Pokemon Conquest. What was that? What was that for, Milnoose? That's not for the 3DS, is it? I can't stream 3DS games. What uh, what console is that for, Milnoose? Yeah, I hope you feel better too, Kay. I'm really sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Average of three viewers, you have 2.34, so I gotta get, like, seven more points in order to get to fucking affiliate. Hell yeah, that's so awesome, Marshall. That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear it. On the DS, okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I can do DS games. Sweet. Sweet, so we can, we can all have a Pokemon Conquest viewer recommended stream coming up very soon in the near future. Probably within the next couple weeks. Because I think we've got Jinto's game, Plants, Plants vs. Zombies coming up next week. Um, and there's a couple others that have been requested. I'm trying to think what else is on the on the docket. Um, I know Marshall had asked for us to play Brawlhalla. So that's on the list. And uh, there's also that game that Kay recommended that we're going to play. It's like Killer, Killer Queen Black or something. So there's a couple games in the in the lineup for viewer viewer recommended. Phasmo is definitely coming up. Um, there there might be quite a bit of Phasmo coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna do Phasmo for viewer recommended because I just want to play Phasmo. 
Ooh, hell yeah, let's get K, a chaos pack. Chaos pack. Boo, 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 chaos, chaos. Here you go, K, you got a chaos pack inbound. Uh, oh, oh, okay, we're fighting. Wait, is this a wild victory bell in the water? All right, maybe we'll try and catch it. It's only level 15. We're probably going to accidentally kill it. Killer. Yeah, Killer Queen Black. Yeah, I picked it up on Steam, okay? So within the next couple weeks for the the viewer requested day, which is always going to be Thursday, at least for right now, um, it's going to pop up in the rotation sometime soon. Oh yeah, Premier Balls, I think you get when you buy 10 Pokeballs or more. I think you get a free Premier Ball. Premier Balls have the same capture rate as a regular Pokeball. They just look fancy. Hit him with that Ultra Ball! Yeah, so when you buy 10, 10 or more Pokeballs, you get a free Premier Ball. It doesn't have any more chance of... Uh, um, chances of, of catching, though, than a regular Pokeball. It looks cool, though. No, come on, get in, get in the freaking, no, don't rack me up, get in the ball! Victory Bell! Get in the ball! No! <laughs> God damn it. Don't make me, don't make me put you to sleep. Oh, wait, I don't have hypnosis. Don't make me paralyze you. Come on! God damn it! Don't poison me! Get in the ball, you're paralyzed! Alright, oh! Alright, get, wrap him up. This doesn't work, we're just we've already gone through five ultra balls, six ultra balls. This doesn't work, we're gonna just finish him off. Alright, there we go. He heard me. He he knew I was getting mad. Victory Bell! Said to live in huge colonies deep in jungles, although no one has ever returned from there. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name him Spoopy. Spoopy the Victory Bell. Because that was kind of a spoopy Pokedex entry. We're also poisoned. We made it! I'm really skipping a good majority of the battles in this playthrough. And I need more Ultra Balls because freaking... Freaking Victory Bell wasted six of them. God damn it, Victory Bell. Is this the mansion? Yep. Oh, I love the I love the little jingle in the mansion.
Oh, ghastly! Oh! <laughs> That's actually kind of fitting for the mansion. Oh, I should have... I should have saved Spoopy for the Ghastly! Wait, does Razor Leaf not work on, on Ghastly? It should, it's a grass attack. Ooh, that sounds really cool. What, uh, how, how did that work, Marshall? What did you, what did you give away, specifically? Ooh, hell yeah, pack for K. You got it. You got it, Milnus. Let's get another pack on over to K. There you go, K. You got a pack incoming. Incoming. You got some cool cards. Oh, you got the blindfold card. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, so the gifted packs are just regular packs. Um... So when when someone gifts a pack, it's just a regular pack, K. Okay? Sorry, there's still some good stuff in the regular pack, though. In fact, uh, Lily contributed a new card that's to make me stop and look up some horrifying fan fiction and read it on stream. So that could be interesting in the future. I'm going to add a handful of new stuff to the regular pack later in the week, too. Because we, we did a lot of stuff with the Chaos Pack last month, but I've been ne neglecting the regular pack of stream loot cards. We gave away a Mystic Egg! Ooh! I'm not, a, I'm not too familiar with what that is, but Trixie that sounds really awesome. Three has purchased three pack. Trixie! Three packs of stream loot! Hell yeah, Trixie! Thank you so much! Are you trying to get the, are you trying to get the fanfic card? <laughs> is that what's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. No, lethal! Lethal, hold on! Hold on! We're gonna. I'm gonna switch you out. Wait, I, wait, you're trying to collect them all! Is that what you're trying to do, Trixie? That's amazing! That's amazing! How close are you to collecting them all? Whoa! That's awesome! Now I feel bad for regularly adding more, because I'm making it more difficult for you. Oh fuck, that's a normal move. Um, but I kind of want to catch... I kind of want to catch Ghastly. There we go. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokemon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. Of course, Milnus, absolutely you can. I'm really excited to play because I've never played Pokemon Conquest, though I've heard some. I've heard decent things. I've heard some real decent things. All right, here we go. Sleepy, Sleepy would appreciate this one. Gassy ass, the ghastly. <laughs> I don't even need you guys to give me really embarrassing names for my Pokemon. I'll do it myself. Oh, it's so per it's so painful to get all the perfect. Was there just a Snorlax hanging out in here? Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that, Milnus. I bet it's gonna be fun though. I bet it's gonna be real fun. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to check it out. A Snorlax hanging out in here. Oh, oh, oh. No! Wings! No! How am I gonna paralyze them? Oh, that's probably gonna kill him. Oh, never mind. It's great, repetitive, but great, but also painful sometimes. Ooh, I'm looking forward to to figuring out why and, like, having that experience. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
If I had to guess for the number of games we have in the lineup for the the viewer recommended nights, I'd say probably two or three weeks before I'll I'll get to it. But it'll def it's definitely on the on the list. There's just a couple folks that have already recommended games via stream loop. We got a Snorlax! Very lazy, just eats and sleeps as its rotund bulk builds. It becomes steadily more slothful. Yeah, let's give him a name. Let's name, wait, let's go, I bet, I bet I named, I bet I named Snorlax. So let's go, let's go into, oh is that what Psywave does? Oops. Let's go into the, the old strategy guide from when I was like eight. Snorlax. Oh, damn it. None of the Pokemon I want to give nicknames to. I didn't give names to a Snorlax. Uh, let's name him Bud. Bud the Snorlax. Hey, Bud. Oh, hell yeah, Milnus. I mean, it, it's a Pokemon game. There's a good chance I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know if there's ever been a Pokemon game that I didn't like. Although I remember Hey You Pikachu being very frustrating. I don't know if anyone remembers Hey You Pikachu with the microphone. Oh, we found some calcium. Yeah, let's feed. Let's feed protein. Let's give Scooby Mew some protein. And let's give... Uh, let's give Swiggle some calcium. Calcium needs, or, or, uh, <laughs> Swiggle needs those strong bones for all the punching he's gonna do. Yeah, Hey You Pikachu is a nightmare. <laughs> but it was still fun. It was still a lot of fun. Just be like, hey Pikachu, how's your day? How's the, how's the family? How are the kids? How you doing, bud? But he'd never answer. He'd never tell me how the kids are, or how the family is. He would just look at me, he would stare at me with those cold, dead eyes. And he wouldn't answer, he wouldn't tell me. I'm never gonna know. You have to leave for a bit, no worries, Hotline, you have a fantastic rest of your evening, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by, I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening. I missed, I missed some stuff. Oh. Question about stream loots, does Frightful Fanfic count for our chat writes a story. No. The frightful fanfic is I just look up. I just look up fanfiction. And I read it. On stream. I just look it up and read it. That was the that was the card that Lily redeemed. Uh, yesterday. The day before yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu was staring right into my soul. And he didn't care. He didn't care what questions I was asking him. He just, he was just looking on in. And he was like, yep. This kid's dead inside. But yeah, the, the fanfic card is just for me to look up fanfic and read it. But there may or may not be the potential for a chat writes a story coming up soon. I'm not going to say 100%, but there may or may not be the... Po what? There's an Articuno! There may or may not be the potential for a bunch of cool things coming up soon just a freaking uh when am i ending stream in about two hours marshall about two hours when i head off to record the beardy bunch podcast with the boys um i can't i want this articuno I have not. I know it was it was it you, Milners, that caught the woo, the shiny woo woo. Yep, around 12 a.m. If not a little bit before, so they have time to grab a snack before the recording. A little snacky snack. 
Please stop freezing my Pokemon. I just want to catch you. I just want to be your friend. Please. I just want to be your friend. That's not going to hurt him. He's a flying type. Why would I do that? What are your thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home? I don't... So, I know there's one individual in chat right now who does not want to be spoiled on Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, so I don't... It's spoiled on the trailer for it because they want to go into the theater experience um, without any knowledge. So I don't want to spoil anything for them. No, I missed them. Yeah, yeah, Andrew wanted the Wooloo. Andrew said Wooloo's one of his favorite Pokemon. You know, Articuno's fucking this up, okay? <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble, okay? <laughs> We're in trouble. But yeah, I'm I'm happy to talk about uh, Spider-Man on, on Discord sometime if you want mail news. I just know there was someone that I, I brought it up the other night, and there's someone that's here... I don't want to. I don't want to name them if they don't want to be named. But um, they didn't want to be spoiled because they want to go in and have the. Oh my God, Articuno! Stop killing my team! I just want to be your friend. Come on, I just want to be your friend. What if we just be friends? I can't even get him in the ball. He won't even go in the ball. He's too strong. He's too beefy. Go ahead, ta tackle him, or just get frozen. That's fine. That's good too. We're gonna we're gonna die here. <laughs> this is where we die. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not a Nuzlocke, so we'll be fine. Mew, Mew, you gotta you gotta pull something. You gotta pull something good out of your metronome bag. Waterfall is probably not the best thing. I mean, it's probably gonna kill him. Oh oh! Don't die. No, Scooby Mew, hold on. <gasps> Scooby Mew coming in clutch! No! We can't hit him! We can't get him in the ball! He's too strong! I should have looked if we had any re any revives. Well. No! Not Nemo! Anyone but Nemo! You should have taken Dory! Nobody cares about- actually, everybody likes Dory. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. I'm pretty sure Dory is, like, everyone's favorite Finding Nemo character. That's why they made an entire movie about her. Oops, did I just spend all my money? Oops, I just spent all my money on Ultra Balls. It's okay. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna recover. We're gonna spend all of our money on Ultra Balls. And we're gonna go back for more. We got this, Kay. Don't worry. We got this. I believe in us. I have faith. Look at the whoa! Look at this sassy tentacruel. Look at him with his arms. Like, mm. Mm, who's this kid? What's he doing here? Mm. Why has an emo? Uh, I may or may not have used him. <laughs> Maybe I should I should put him in first slot so he gets some experience. <laughs> Oh, do we not- do people not like Marlin? Isn't Marlin technically the main character? I think everybody likes Marlin. Just- just look at his name, Marlin. That's a solid name. I would- I would name- I would name one of my kids Marlin. In the- in the alternate reality where I have kids, I bet one of them's named Marlin. Marlin Chili. You know, know who they can take? Take that evil little girl from the first movie that, like, when the fish are in the bag, she, like, shakes them around. That, that looked really, that looked really wrong. I, I'm sorry for making that gesture. <laughs> I was shaking a bag! <laughs> It wasn't what it looked like. <laughs> Tentacruel, get in the ball. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm gonna name... I'm gonna name this Tentacruel. We always get tentacles. You know how I feel about tentacles. I'm gonna name this Tentacruel Marlin. Marlin the Tentacruel. There we go. Ooh, Nino Queen. Just chilling. Just straight chilling. Uh, after this, we're gonna do Pokemon Yellow, and I'm gonna try and complete the Pokédex. At least as far as we can complete it without trading. So, we'll do- we'll finish off our randomized red, and then we're gonna do a completion run of Pokemon Yellow. That'll more than likely bring us to the end of the year, and I plan on starting on Gold and Silver in 2022. We'll do the same thing, we'll do... A regular playthrough of either gold or silver, a randomized playthrough of either gold or silver, and then a completion run of crystal. That little girl in the beginning of Nemo, that is Sid from Toy Story's younger sister. Wait, is that really Sid from Toy Story's? Please get in the ball. I didn't know that. I had no idea, Kay. That's, sh that's, sh I'm shook. I'm shooketh to my core. But I believe it. She kind of looks just like Sid from, from Toy Story. Oh, it's... Fuck, it's a ground type. I can't paralyze it. Get on the ball! That's, uh, that's what I'm planning on doing, Milnoose. We'll, uh, we'll see... We'll see how far we get. Because it's taken us about... About a year to get through all of Gen 1 in the way we've been playing. Get in the freaking ball! Come on! Oh, okay, I thought that was like... Because I know there's the whole theory that all the Pixar movies are connected. I thought that was how they were connected with... With little... Finding... Not Little Nemo. Finding Nemo. But yeah, that's the that's the plan, Milnoose. I'm gonna do... Uh, regular playthroughs. And then a randomized playthrough, and then a completion playthrough, the complete... Alright, I give up. I give up. Neo Queen, you've wasted too many... You've wasted too many of my Ultra Balls! And my attack miss. Sean! How's it going? Neo Queen, you're dead to me! You're dead to me, Neo Queen! That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't get in the ball. Wings grows to level 27. I want to switch. I want to put Nemo in first slot. Because we want Nemo to become a... A Gyarados. You hit the secret switch. Yeah, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't hit that switch? Who wouldn't just smash that switch? Oh! Oh, random Kakuna. Just a le random level 30 Kakuna. <laughs> Living in the mansion. Another day tired as fuck, though. Exhausting week. Oh, no, Sean, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you at least have the weekend off? Do you at least get to relax over the weekend? I hope so. Oh, no, no, no. Don't. Don't. Don't do this, Kakuna. Don't do this. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. I'm doing fantastic. We're playing some Pokemon, which is always a good time. Getting, getting to hang out with some amazing folks in the chat, which is beyond fantastic. Yeah, weekends off. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Paralyze him.
Oh, I don't blame you, Kay. That sounds like some solid weekend plans. Those sound like the best weekend plans. Alright, I'm gonna try an ult a great ball, not an ultra ball. Because Kakuna shouldn't be hard to catch. What? God damn it. Oh, it's because he keeps using freaking Harden. Stop it. Oh no, Sean, I'm so sorry to hear that. That has to I, I'm I'm the type of person that could sleep anyway. Like I could lay down on the floor here and fall asleep. So I always feel bad when folks are, are not able to sleep easily. It stinks. Apex Groups wants to play. I'll be around. Have a good uh, have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sean. I hope Apex goes fantastic. I hope you get some wins. Hit the second wave, and I am very awake. Oh, hell yeah, Trixie. Hell yeah. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You never slept. Wait, you didn't sleep last night, Kay? B? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> This is uh this is what happens when you guys don't redeem any uh any any cards to name that Pokemon. I give them horrible names. Like B <laughs> question mark. <laughs> is it a B or is it a Kakuna? The world will never know. Yeah, sleep is super important. I love me some sleep. Nemo! We gotta get we gotta get Nemo to level thirty one. Go Mewtwo. No, come on, Kakuna. Nobody want, wants to watch you repeatedly harden. Nobody wants to watch that. Oh no, that's not good, Kay. Do you at least get to sleep more often now? Ooh, you changed your profile picture. Ooh, hell yeah. There's also an Aaron... How many different Pokemon are in this place? <laughs> I thought they just replaced them with... Like, if there's three wild Pokemon in this area, there's three randomized wild Pokemon. Is that not how it works? Oh, Swiggle's confused. Me too, Swiggle. I'm confused too. You and me both. There we go. Goodbye, Aerodactyl. Goodbye. How do I... I forget where I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's awesome, Kay. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You gotta get a good night's sleep. Whoa! Random pincer! I want a pincer. Uh. Why is Wings always almost dead? Okay, congrats on that hippotas. Hippotas? Hippotas? To me, it just looks like hippotas. <laughs> it's probably hippotas. <laughs> oh no, stop! Stop! Mew! Mew, you're going too far! No! Stop thrashing! You're going too far! <laughs> Mew went on a rampage! <laughs> this is what happens. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh! Oh yeah, that's so weird because you never encounter a wild Farfetch'd. I don't think you ever even see a Farfetch'd in battle in the games. Because you get a Farfetch'd from somebody, they give you a Farfetch'd, or they trade you for a Farfetch. I don't think you ever encounter a Farfetch'd in battle in the actual game. So it's so weird to see a Farfetch'd on the other side of the screen. Shot real smooth. Is that the one, 
the Just only me. Mr. Marbles, Mr. Billy Rids in the house. How you doing, my friend? We're fighting a wild bird. How you doing? How is your Saturday treating you, Billy? How's your weekend treating you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and catch this bird. I I don't know if Farfetch's backstory. What what is Farfetch's backstory, Kay? Do tell. I'm very interested. Oh, that's always that's always the best part of the weekend. Where is my Mew? Why is it just gone? Where did the sprite for my Mew go? What did it do that it's invisible? Oh, you know. Wait, Kay, did you ask the story? Did you ask me if I know the story about Farfetch'd and you didn't know the story? I'm so confused right now. I thought you were going to tell us the story. Why is my Mew invisible? Oh, it's a leak. It's not a stick, it's a leak. So there's this duck, and it really likes wood, so every morning it goes out. That's not- it's a leak! <laughs> Look up Farfetch'd, Billy! <laughs> it carries around a leak! <laughs> so it may be far-fetched, but that's where the term morning wood- No! <laughs> it's a leak! Far-fetched carries a leak! <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a real, like, Pokemon lesson with Billy Rids coming in as the instructor. Instructor Billy Rids at your service. <laughs> there we go, we got Farfetched. <laughs> give it a name, yeah, I want to give it a nickname. <laughs> Duck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this is this is what happens when there's no there's no name redeems. I just give all the Pokemon terrible names. This is your fault, chat. <laughs> yeah, there there's absolutely nothing wrong with a little bit of morning wood. It's it's an important what well, Mr. Mime! <laughs> Look, it's dad! <laughs> we found we found a wild Andrew. <laughs> oh no. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. There's nothing there's nothing weird going on. I'm not almost out of money and ultra balls and they keep throwing Pokemon that I want at me. There's nothing there's nothing going on here. Oh, oh. Oh, that's like perfect capture territory. No, come on. Come on, there's no way. There's no way you're not ready to get in that ball. Get in the ball. I only got three left. Get in there. Stay in there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you stay in there. Oh, I know exactly. I know exactly what I'm gonna name this Mr. Mime. I know exactly what I'm naming it. Oh, you know what? All capitals. Gotta really make a statement. <laughs> ATM Zero was transferred to Bill's PC. <laughs> A Kingler! There's too many Pokemon here! Excuse me. 
There's usually only like six different Pokemon in this place. Now there's like 30. It's normally like Magmar, Ditto, Muck, and that might be it. Uh, or no, not Muck. I think Grimer. Actually, Muck and Grimer might be here. I think it might be the four of them. Come on, I'm almost out of Ultra Balls. Get in that ball. Get in there and stay in there. Come on. Oh. I don't have any more Ultra Balls. Every floor to a cave dungeon gets randomized differently. Oh, that might be the case. It might just be randomizing each floor. I didn't think about that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want any balls left. My balls are gone. I only have regular Pokeballs. I don't think I'm going to catch a Kingler with a regular Pokeball. He's not going to stay inside there. Come on, bud. Don't you want to be friends? I'll be friends. I'll put you in the box. I'll give you a horrible name. Billy, did you see what did I see? Did you see what I named the Mr. Mime that we caught? <laughs> Alright, I named it I named it ATM Zero, so technically yes. <laughs> oh come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We just caught it in a ball, a regular ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got that king. Look at him. Look at those big claws. He just wants to give you a big old hug with those claws. Yeah, I want to give him a nickname. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Crab King. Crab King. Apparently with a hyphen. I didn't. I thought that was the space, but it was the hyphen. So he's the Crab King. Oh my God! No more. Oh my god, it's an Electabuzz! <laughs> but I really like Electabuzz. Now I want an Electabuzz, but I only have regular Pokeballs. This is terrible. I, I've been skipping like 90% of the battles. I have no money. Get ready to go live, you're doing another Mystic Egg Giveaway! Hell yeah, Marshall, I hope it goes fantastically. That's so awesome that you're doing something like that. That's really awesome. Hopefully you'll get those, those last couple average viewers that you need during today or tomorrow's stream. And you'll be able to roll on over into the ranks of Affiliate! Twitch Affiliate! Whoa! Oh no, why is it I I don't have any- I don't have any balls! Guys, game, I don't have- I want a Venusaur! Actually, you know what? I have an Ivysaur already. Do I need a Venusaur? Probably. But... I don't have any balls! I'm fresh out of balls! Milnews, thank you so much for the lurk! I really appreciate you, Milnews. Now I'm the Venusaur. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I'm the Venusaur. Razor Leaf. Bill Wait, what? Billy's yelling at Dad? Why is Billy yelling at Dad? I don't know why Billy's yelling at Dad.
Uh oh. Uh oh, Spaghetti-o. Goodbye, Scooby Mew. Sleep well. Hell yeah, Marshall! Hell yeah! Twelve balls. Oh no, I can't. <gasps> no, my box is full. Well, sorry, Venusaur. You're toast. By toast, I mean um, leafy toast, veggie toast, vegetarian toast. Wait, Kay, was was Billy yelling at Dad? Anytime I see a button, I have no idea what it does. My immediate... Oh, there we go. It opened. My immediate instinct is to push it. No questions asked. I just push that button. I don't want to be in here. Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, Growlithe! I love Growlithe. Oh, what about the new Growlithe in Legends Arceus? He's so freaking cute. I want one. And I'm not just talking about in the game. I'm talking about in life. I don't have any balls, though. I ran away scared. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, Growlithe is freaking adorable. Oddish. Might be able to catch. Oh no! Stop. We might be able to catch an Oddish. And oh, I didn't switch the box. No, I forgot to switch the box at the Pokey Center. We gotta go switch the box. That's the wrong way.
It's all gonna be okay, Kay. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the Poke Center. We're gonna change the box. Then we can catch more Pokemans. We can catch all the Pokemans that we want. We can keep them trapped in tiny spherical prisons. And the ones that we have no intention of using, we'll we'll keep in the the bot the digitized box for the rest of their lives. Uh, they, I, I hear the sound, so the sound comes through my headphones. Or the ones that, like, are you talking about, like, the spider one? That appears on the screen over here, which is the screen where Chad is. Oh, I feel like I feel like Mr. Mime creeps almost everybody out. I don't know that there's anybody that likes Mr. Mime. Is there anybody out there whose favorite Pokemon is Mr. Mime? I really need to know. We gotta switch the box. Box four. Alright, let's try this again. Also, do I have enough money to buy anything? I don't think I do. I'm very poor. I'm gonna buy the here, buy that TM off me. Buy this other TM off me. I need money. Buy this escape rope off me. I can still only buy three. Damn it. I'm hoping we rented that Venusaur again. There's also the possibility of running into that Articuno. But I don't know that we're going to catch an Articuno with only three... Three Ultra Balls. I think we need to do something down here. Let's look around. See, I think we need to open that. Oh, another Kingler. I already caught a Kingler. I don't need another one. He's the Crab King. I only need one Crab King in my life. And that's the other King Kingler that we've already enslaved. Nemo grew to level 31. <gasps> what? <gasps> Nemo's evolving. <gasps> Nemo! Nemo, what are you what's happening? What's happening to you, Nemo? <gasps> You're a dragon creature! Oh I always knew I always knew Nemo was a dragon creature. Alright, we gotta hang on hang on game. Hang on and pause. We gotta we gotta change out. Nemo's not a little cute little fish anymore. He's not a cute little fish. He's a dragon. He's a dragon creature. Look at him. Oh, look at him. There he is. He's a weird dragon creature. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, here we go. Switch. Push that switch, secret switch, yeah. You slap that switch. Uh-oh. Oh, Kingdra. Cedra. Not Kingdra. Kingdra's in the next game.
No! Come on, I only have three of those. Alright, stay in there this time. Alright, one more. Oh, there we go. Cedra was caught! Yeah, we're gonna give him a nickname. We're gonna name him. Thank you so much, Kay. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. It was really good to get to talk to you tonight. C. It's gonna be C. Mom. C. Mom the Cedra. It's a solid name. It's a real good name. C. Mom the Cedra. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful name. Why did- what was the point? Oh, there's another door. Sea Mom the Cedra. Are there two different- whoa, 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 hang on, we ran into an Articuno in here already! Right. There's- there's an Articuno and a Moltres in this building? What is happening in this mansion? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can catch it. I only have one Ultra Ball! I- I should dye my- what color should I dye my hair, Trixie? My- my name, K? <laughs> the- the name that I gave Cedra? <laughs> Sea Mom the Cedra? Green! I mean, green is my favorite color. I don't know how I would look with green hair. Sea <laughs> nut. Purple. I don't know how I'd look with purple hair. Oh look, it's another it's another wild Andrew. Hair dye promo to help you get to 1K. Ooh, maybe I'll add it in as a, as a possible a possible reward during the subathon next month. The month long subathon I'm gonna do for September. <laughs> no, no, this is this is a different one, Billy. The the one that we caught we have in the box, enslaved forever, is the one that won gold. Ooh, I can see Billy with pink hair. I could absolutely see Billy with pink hair. But yeah, we're we're doing a I'm gonna do a subathon for September. And there's gonna be a bunch of cool rewards for stuff that we're gonna do in October if we hit all the goals. So maybe maybe there'll be some hair dyeing in there. I'm gonna go blonde and then maybe go a cut Ooh, I have no idea how to dye my hair. Real talk. <laughs> Unless it's like that spray stuff that you can spray and it's like temporary, that's the extent of my knowledge as far as dying hair goes. Bleacher and there you go, pastel blue! Ooh, that sounds really cool, Trixie. Uh, what am I doing? Who are we fighting? We're fighting a Mr. Mime. Also, I accidentally killed that Moltres. Oops. I'm not that- I'm not that torn up about it because I only have one Ultra Ball and I think the chances of us catching it were very slim. Yeah, that sounds really cool, Trixie. Here's the real question, Kay. You're- you're encouraging- you're encouraging all this hair dyeing. Are you gonna dye your hair with us? That's the real question, Kay. <laughs> a beautiful redhead. You know, I've always pictured myself as a redhead, Billy. I I can see it. I can definitely see it. Oh no, the door! The door is locked! <laughs> Manic Panic Blue Angel. Ooh. I want to be the guy that gets the name, the colors of things. Like, the guy that names the the different colors swatches that you get at, like, the hardware store. I want to be that guy. There was one at my old job that was called Cream in My Coffee, and it was, like, a tan color. 
I want to be the guy that comes up with that shit and probably makes thousands of dollars <laughs> a month <laughs> just to name <laughs> paint samples. He's probably like a multi-millionaire and they probably they come and they knock on their, his door and they just hold up the swatch and he's like, Hmm, that looks like peanut brittle. And then they he sends them away to name the color peanut brittle. I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> give me that green baby. <laughs> that's the guy. That's that's my job. Where do I apply for that job? I want to be the guy that names the paints. <laughs> Somebody hook me up. If anybody knows anyone that works for like <laughs> Sherwin Williams, and they need a guy to just name their paint colors, I got him. Billy, you know, you know you could always have the cream. You know that's always, that's always available to you, Billy. Second color I did was Manic Panic Siren Song, and it glowed under UV black lights. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds really cool. So what is the, what is the Manic Panic? Is that, like, the brand? There's an Arbok in here, too! How many Pokemon are hanging out in this mansion? It's too many Pokemon! I only wanted like three Pokemon! Ooh, look at that spooky ghost! Ooh! That's a really cool, it's a really cool brand name. I like that. Manic Panic. It really, it really draws a clear picture in your mind. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Maybe if this ends up being a thing, I'll have to I'll have to look into it. Wants to name the next Pokemon. Oh, El Diablo. Diablo! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! You're ending, you're ending my horrible, my my horrible streak of naming these Pokemon. Manic Panic was the calling card of my goth teen years. Ooh, there's there's the potential, Lily, that I'm if if we hit a certain a certain goal in the subathon next month. Apparently, everyone wants me to dye my hair. I have no idea how to dye my hair. So I'm sure it's going to turn out terrible. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay, Lily. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> also, how are you, Lily? <laughs> no, no, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be on. Trixie's gonna help. <laughs> Trixie's gonna help. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, good morning, Lily. I'm really glad you're able to get some sleep. Wait, where am I going? No, no, don't leave. I'm going the wrong way. I don't want to leave. Oh, Electabuzz. Oh, oh. Oh, Electabuzz would make a good El Diablo. If he can survive getting punched! That's the criteria for joining our team at this point. You gotta be able to survive getting punched by Swiggle. Which I think was the same criteria in our Pokemon Blue playthrough, except you had to survive getting punched by, um... Oh, he didn't survive. By Chunkachu. Ooh, hell yeah! Hell yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board for getting to meet Peter. 
I I'm I'm under I'm under the belief that Peter is my number one fan, and I'm okay with that. Ooh, that's an option too, Lily. That's an option too. The consensus right now is either green or purple. I don't know why purple. <laughs> <laughs> or red. Oh, that's right. Billy Billy also said that I'd make a good redhead. I forgot about that, Billy. I'm so terribly sorry. I don't I don't know. Marshall, thank you so much for the raid, Marshall. That was fast. How did your stream go? You just want me to be gorgeous, Billy. Billy, what are you trying to say? I'm all. Are you? Are you? Are you saying I'm not already gorgeous? All wine red. Oh, I'd really, I'd really, I'd really attract some attention with wine red hair. I don't know what shade of purple. <laughs> I don't know what shade of purple. It was Kay that recommended purple. So Kay, if you're still out there, what shade of purple are we talking about? Ooh, Lily, we could have matching hair. How cool would that be? How cool would it be to have matching hair? <laughs> I'm a 9.5, but you want me to be a 10. And I could do that with, with neon green hair. No, not transform. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. This is the worst! Oh, maybe he'll be paralyzed. No. Nope. Yep, we're switching. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Please stop lowering my accuracy. I would really, I would really appreciate not having my accuracy lowered. Had to end early because you're super tired. Like, I do like your new profile picture. It's, uh, it's from Animal Crossing, isn't it, Marshall? If I'm not mistaken? I'm not, I'm not 100% which, which villager it is, but I, I know it's, uh, an Animal Crossing villager. Did green tips in high school. Your teacher said I looked like I was growing mold. No, green is cool. Green's a cool hair color. Manic panic vampire red. Oh, I'll have to look up manic panic vampire red. <laughs> oh, Marshall. Oh, it's Marshall from Animal Cry. Oh, hell yeah. That's perfect. That's so perfect, Marshall. That's awesome. Ooh, or infrared. I'll have to look these up. Yeah, press that shit. Yeah, press it. Press that button. Press all. No, it closed. Oh, wait, wait. that's not the only one I go through. This is. No! No, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Is there another one on the third floor that I... Excuse me, all three! All three legendary birds are in this one building! We have, we have encountered all three legendary birds in this building! Excuse me! <laughs> it's getting crowded in here! Excuse me! <laughs> and I only have one Ultra Ball!
That is true, Milnus. Maybe the maybe the Cinnabar Island mansion is the equivalent of the the burnt tower in Gen Two. I don't. Can we paralyze the Zapdos? Oh oh oh. Okay. Can we paralyze the Zapdos? Oh, okay, we can. Yeah, Shock Crow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what do you mean I'm not supposed to be here? What do you mean I'm supposed to be at the power plant? This is my house! I'm kind of curious who all who all the legendaries are. Alright, so we've got we got one shot. We got we got one shot. I got one Ultra Ball. How are we gonna catch it? What? Wait, what do you mean? No! Alright, just our regular, regular Pokeball. What do you mean? What do you mean? He's paralyzed! He's got like 5 HP left! What do you mean? He's not weak enough for me to catch him. What are these shenanigans? I don't, because he won't go in the ball. <laughs> go. This is this is gonna. This is probably gonna kill him. Oh, it didn't kill him. Pokeball, go! Go! No! I can't weaken him any more than this! No! No! He's already as weak as I can get him! He's gonna die! No! Or I'm gonna die! Or we're all... What's gonna happen to all of us one day? Uh. Look, I'm a Zapdos too, you should come over here! Come on over and be our friend! Stop electrocuting me, I'm also a Zapdos! I'm definitely not a mule, get in the ball! The right, he won't get in the ball! <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure means that he's not weakened enough to try and catch him, but look at that health bar! How am I supposed to weaken him more than that? I'm gonna accidentally kill him. I'm just gonna throw the Master Ball at him. <laughs> How mad would you guys be if I used the Master Ball on him? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm doing it! Master Ball! This is where we're using our Master Ball chat! <laughs> if you want me not to, that is your only chance to tell me no! Peter believes in me! Master Ball, go! We got Zapdos! <laughs> Watch, the next thing we're gonna run into in here is gonna be a Mewtwo and I'm gonna regret this. A legendary bird Pokemon that's said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. And we get to name him all Billy. Billy, do you know what we get to name him? Do you know what, do you know what we get to name him, Billy? El Diablo. El Diablo, the Zapdos. El Diablo. There he is. El Diablo. El Diablo was transferred to Bill's PC. I don't know how to open these freaking doors! Another wild Andrew. 
go, Nemo! Uh, actually, don't go. Oh no, everyone's almost dead. We need to retreat! Retreat! Actually, I may run away. Because we gonna die. Uh-oh. We gonna die. Oh, we got away. Hell yeah. Alright, let's, let's leave. Let's go back to the pole. Let's go collect our thoughts. <laughs> let's go collect our thoughts at the Poke Center. Stop trying to go in the gym. We don't have the key yet. We're working on it. Ah, uh, because Andrew was a mime in high school. He, he, was, he was a professional mime. He won awards and everything. Okay, don't you... Don't you listen to the Beardy Bunch podcast? I know you listened to it at one point. But we talked about it in the, in the Beardy Bunch podcast. I don't remember what episode. We got pizza today. It has two... No, Mill News. Mill News. Pizza can never have too much cheese. You can never have too much cheese on your pizza, Milnus. Um, I'm a I'm actually gonna get rid of Nemo. Like it was it was fun. It was fun while it lasted, Nemo. But we already have we already have Polyrath. What uh, what 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 is the W two T F for? Okay, the Andrew being a a mime or too much cheese on a pizza, which. I'm standing by the fact that that's not possible. Too much cheese is just the right amount of cheese. Here we go, Zapdos. We got El, El Diablo. There he is, El Diablo. I'm gonna leave him nice and big, because we want to send a message. Look at him. Look at how majestic he is. He's so majestic. Oh, you haven't heard the 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 mime the mime conversation was a while ago. I think it was during the episode where we did the Q&A where people asked us questions and we answered them. Oh no! Oh no, Milnus, and that's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that you can never have too much cheese. I feel bad. I'm so sorry, Milnus. Yeah, so that that was in the, the episode where we did the Q&A, okay? Oh, Apple, I'm in the same boat. I could never have too much cheese. You could put cheese on anything, and I'd be happy. You could put cheese on... Uh... What's something that would be really weird to put cheese on? Uh... I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. On fruit. You could put... You could slap a slice of cheese on a piece of fruit, and it would be delicious. And nutritious, because it's... It's a fruit true story who on ice cream I bet I bet cheese on ice cream would be really good I bet cheese would be really good on ice cream <laughs> oh mill I believe in you I'm sending you all the positive vibes fry K you don't you don't put cheese on your fries <laughs> I said something weird to put cheese on. <laughs> Any cheese. Blue cheese. Cream cheese. Swiss cheese. Goat cheese. Any kind of cheese. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Specifically goat cheese. Yeah, goat cheese. Slap some goat cheese on those fries. I'm gonna be a happy boy. Oh, look, there's a Growlithe. I don't have any balls to catch it. Oh, no. We got scared and we ran away. Yeah. I've Real talk, I've never actually had goat cheese. So I don't know if goat cheese is any good, but you know what? I would slap it on a a piece of a piece of apple. 
a, just a big hunk of apple. I slap it on there, and I take a big old bite, and I'd love every minute of it. Say, in a sharp white cheddar and honey crisp, or a, a gouda and a Granny Smith. Ooh. <laughs> what? No, Milnis, why do you want to see my Mew blow up? <laughs> Mew is a lovable character. They can't land any moves right now. You had cranberry goat cheese and it was real. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Not my poor Mew. Not my poor little Mew. He's adorable. I love him. I'm gonna keep him forever, at least until the end of this playthrough. Yeah, well, that's his primary means of attacking. He's using metronome. I'm, I'm actually kind of tempted to try and do a metronome-only playthrough. Oh wait, oh, this is a, there's another four! There's a fourth- oh, hey Snorlax. There's a fourth floor. This is a big mansion, it didn't look this big from the outside. Conversion? Oh, that changes our type. That's a... That's a Porygon move. <laughs> he, uh... He's like, oh, baby, I'm ready for... Oh, no, Metronome is out of PP! Now what am I gonna do? <laughs> he's like, oh, paint me like one of your French girls. You know what I think might be... Might be a problem to a a metronome only playthrough Milnus. The how low of PP it is. Oh no! Oh no, Lily, it's down there. You just gotta you gotta look really closely. You gotta look really closely. <laughs> yeah, the PP is down right now. We gotta get it up. If we don't get it up, there's 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 no PP to be had. No, well, no, no. Excuse me. I was almost there. How dare you do that? Well, don't you dare. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, you can take it. There we go, finally. Alright, Swiggle. Swiggle, we need you to do some stuff. The rest of us aren't doing well. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap this switch. Yeah, who wouldn't who wouldn't push? Nice shiny. Uh oh, sir! My mentor once lived here. That that's good. That doesn't mean you can be here. Sean, welcome back. Welcome back. What are you What are you playing? Ooh, what games are on the agenda? Uh, the Pokemon, the Pokemans are going. We caught a Zapdos. We 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 caught it with a Master Ball because it wouldn't get in the freaking ball. What it? So you're. You're like the third person that's told me that they play Mech Warrior Online. What is Mech Warrior Online? He's gonna use a shelter. Oh, that's very unfortunate. El Diablo. El Diablo makes makes his battle debut. El Diablo the Zapdos in the flesh. Goodbye, shelter.
Oh, an Ammonite. No, El Diablo never runs from a battle. Mech shooter, super detailed combat, and building tactical style. A huge amount of fun with people. I grew up playing the older game. Oh, I've never heard of them. Is it like an MMO, Sean? El Diablo claims victory. Swimmer? He don't look like no swimmer to me. He's overdressed. <laughs> uh, I think we need to get over there. I think we gotta we gotta yeet ourselves off the cliff here. It has faction play and a bunch of other related mechanics like that. Ooh, that sounds kind of exciting. Mostly play, quick play. I'm pretty new to it. That's awesome. Yeah, I have. I've seen a few folks um, playing Mech. What is it? Mech Warriors Online. Oh, I'm blanking on what the full title is right now. Mech. Yeah, Mech Warrior Online. Yeah, that's that's one of the other the other people that I've seen playing it recently. Somebody else in the Discord. I could have sworn I saw them there. Um, in their status that they were playing it. But it sounds like it might be a popular game right now, so it's probably not surprising. No, don't paralyze me! I like not being paralyzed! Can we catch him with a regular Pokeball? Yeah, that's right. That's right, you're getting that Pokeball. Execute! Often mistaken for eggs. When disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. Eggs? <laughs> we asked them to get a group of stream people hopping in and then have a team of 12. Clueless new. Ooh. That could definitely be interesting. I'd be, I'd be down for that. Thank you so much, Kay. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. So thank you so much for, for hanging out, Kay. Oh, is this not? Oh no! Did I jump from the wrong one? Oddish. Ooh! I now I'm even more on board. I think, I think you should stream. I 100% think you should stream. I am completely on board for this. And if you do, I'll come, I'll download the game and I'll come play with you. I'll have no idea what I'm doing, but what else is new? Please don't poison me. I am already asleep. Although I don't think, I don't think status ailments can stack in Gen 1. Please, please, I am sleeping. Please leave me alone. I am trying to sleep. Oh, I woke up. Oh, now I'm poisoned. That's not good. Flareon, light that stinking weed on fire. Just light it right up. Don't even, don't even ask any questions. Just light it on up. Need to get your equipment set up. I may need to get a second monitor going to manage things effectively. I I only use I only use a second monitor when I play PC games. Well, that would be yeah. You would need it if I'm guessing that's only on PC. So now that I'm thinking of it, you probably would need. Um, but I I use my oh no the room. I need to get in there. Oh. Um, I use my TV as my second monitor, so like OBS and chat are on the TV right now, and then I have the game on my my actual computer monitor. Oh, another pincer! I want it. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's definitely a different story. I I use my TV like when I do console games, I use, I just use the TV. You want to watch Pokemon? Ooh, Pokemon Watch Party in the Discord. Maybe. We uh we we do have the option of what we want to do for Wednesday on Discord since we since I won't be streaming on Twitch. So I might I might put up like a post to see what folks would want to do. Uh oh. Please don't throw me. Do not throw El Diablo does not like to be thrown. El Diablo is a bird and birds fly free. Do not throw me do not do not throw me. I am a bird. We can do a, we we could absolutely do a Pokemon watch party. In fact, I think is I think Pokemon's on Amazon Prime. So I think we could actually watch Pokemon on Twitch. And they just rolled out some kind of new Pokemon app on the Switch that you could watch Pokemon on. So it actually might be really easy to do a Pokemon watch party. Uh, and for anyone that that wasn't here yesterday, I talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, so when the when the schedule went out this week for next week's streams, the streams after today, um, you'll notice that there is no stream scheduled for September first, which is next Wednesday. Uh, it is a day that has been selected for uh, a lot of Twitch streamers and just folks that frequent Twitch to kind of make a stand against all the, the hate raids and the hate speech and everything like that that's been going around on Twitch recently. So a bunch of us will not be streaming on, on that day. Most of us will not be visiting the site on that day as a, as a show of taking a stand against everything that's going on in hopes that Twitch will receive our message and they'll do something about all the all the hate bots that are going around. And I know I know I'm I'm a small streamer. I'm the fact that I'm not going to stream that day and the, the like 10 to 20 viewers that we get on a regular basis um, aren't going to be around on that day. I'm sure isn't going to make a big deal, but if everybody gets on more and then everybody joins in the movement, um, then Twitch will have to take notice. And I think Twitch already has taken notice because so September is is a uh, September on Twitch. In fact, you if you sub to any of your favorite streamers on on or in September. You save twenty percent on your subs. That's uh, that's the the big September savings this year. And gift subs are twenty percent off and all. That's why I'm gonna do a a subathon for the entire month. But Twitch isn't starting the September stuff until September second, which tells me that they're well aware that they're a good portion. If not, I, I bet there's a lot of big streamers that won't adhere to it. But that there's a like a, a large faction. Of the site that's planning on going ahead with the the day of no Twitch. Yeah, it's it's really prevalent. We haven't had anything like that here. Um, if we ever do, my initial response would be we'd probably go into uh, emotes only chat immediately because all the VIPs and the mods, which is a good majority of our regulars here, can can still talk even in emotes chat, whereas the the hate bots and everything like that wouldn't be wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to send anything other than emotes. So I feel like that would be an effective means of combating it. Was oh, this it? No, it's just iron. It's just iron. But yeah, it's been it's been very prevalent around the site as of late. So um, it's just something that that needs to to be enforced better. And technically, we did get we did get hit with that big bot following uh, incident months ago. That was kind of a nightmare because the notifications didn't stop for like an hour. I had to turn them off eventually. But on that evening that 
I don't stream on Twitch. I'm planning on doing something on Discord. Um, I recommended a community game night, but if if folks want to do like a Pokemon watch party kind of deal or any kind of watch party, we can definitely do that. We just hang out, have a good time in the in the Discord. Folks can jump in the voice channels if they want and just hang out. It'll be a real good time. It'll be a real good community night for us to hang out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I quit Battlefield because of hate-spewing hackers who would post all kinds of racist propaganda. The gaming community has nearly lost me several times due to the amount of hate going around. Yeah, it's it's very unfortunate, and it's been very prevalent on Twitch as, as of late. And I've always... I have always made the point of es establishing the fact that I want the community that we we have here for the stream and for the channel and our Discord and everything like that to be all encompassing and all accepting and everyone's welcome to to come and hang out and you know let their let their voice be heard. So definitely not something that adheres to anything that I would ever want for our community. All right, we're jumping. Oh, this is the right one. Uh-oh. Sir, please don't battle me. My Pokemans are almost dead. Please don't battle me. Is this the key? No, it's carbs. No. No, we're in trouble. That's a Kingler. I mean, I have potions. Anything but carbs! It's carbos. <laughs> okay, have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you, Kay. Um, and I'll post something in the Discord later to see what folks want to do. I'll mention that there was an interest in a Pokemon watch, watch party. We can do, we can watch some Pokemon, some old school Pokemon anime action in Discord. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Pick two colors. Uh, green. Green and purple. Green and purple. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, what are you doing here? I just need the key. I just want the key so I can go to the gym. No, please don't. <laughs> please, I just want to run away. You're going to make me a thing. What? What are you making me? No, there's... No! No! Wait! No! Why are we outside? No! <laughs> Why are we outside? That wasn't the exit! Why are we outside? Oh, Mewtwo's fan. That's good. Good! <laughs> yeah, the door's locked. I was looking for the key! <laughs> A green and purple thing. Ooh. Ooh, I like green and purple things. I'm really excited to see. I bet it's gonna be really awesome, Lily. I have no idea what it could be, but it, I bet it's really awesome. I can't believe we went through the whole place and I accidentally left. Were we supposed to talk to that guy? I thought he was gonna fight me. I was scared. Alright, we're in run mode. Get out of here, Mr. Mime! Nobody likes you. Your hands give them the creeps. That's what Kay said earlier. Oh, come on! That was like two steps! Oh, good! No, Zapdos. I already have a Zapdos. I don't need another one. Apparently there's just a whole herd of Zapdos hanging out in here. Forget them being legendary Pokémon. Everybody visit the, the Cinnabar Mansion. They're all here. They're, they're down the party. Uh, I have no money, Milnus. <laughs> I spent all my money on Ultra Balls and... Uh, no, no! <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we're healed now, so we'll be okay. Milnus, I spent all my money. <laughs> I don't have any money for repels. Actually, I may have some repels. I'm not 100% sure. Go, Swiggle! You surf!
That is true. It will give me some money. And then hopefully Blaine will give me some money. I can't really complain because we already beat two gyms in this in this stream alone. And if we somehow knock out Blaine's gym in the next 20 minutes, we'll have beaten three gyms in one stream. the key where is the key is that the key wait how do I get over there oh oh sir don't even don't even look at me no that's a TM 14 <laughs> where is the freaking key what the fuck where is the key just want the key are you sure, Milnus? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm afraid he's gonna fight me. Sir, I don't wanna fight. I just wanna find the key. I wanna go see- oh! Oh! a four store. I should be happy, but I'm not. Oh my god! I don't have any Pokeballs! There's just a freaking Machamp hanging out here! Hey, let's, what, what are the chances? What are the chances if I throw this regular Pokeball at him that he'll stay inside? What are the chances if I throw another Pokeball at him that he'll stay inside? Oh my god! Oh my god! We just got a champ and a regular Pokeball! What?! <laughs> what?! What? <laughs> Is it just, does Machamp not have like a normal catch rate in Gen 1? Because you're not supposed to encounter a wild Machamp? Is that what it is? He's got like a jacked up... Whoa! Where your tongue? What are you doing here? Is the entire Pokédex just hiding in the mansion? <laughs> Every Pokémon in the region. This is like a convention of all the Pokémon from around the Kanto region. Oh, he didn't survive. Where is the key? Aerodactyl, where is the key? Show me the key. Level 45. Oh, Blaine's not going to stand a chance. Swiggle's going to kick Blaine's ass. My friend's fiance is streaming and he did a marble session and everyone was losing their mind because I have 110 points. Is that just from playing? I don't, 
so I've always played marbles on Billy's stream. I have no idea how the point system in marbles works. Because I've I've never That's a no! I was sure that was gonna be the freaking key! Oh, I'm so salty right now. My champ, I already caught I somehow already caught one of you in a Pokeball. Get out of here. Trixie is is the marbles champion. Billy might be Mr. Marbles, but Trixie. Trixie is the champion of marbles. The Marble Master, if you will. Well, Billy, I've always, I've always seen you more as the future for. Oh, oh is this it? I've always seen you as the future for. Mar That's just a Bulbasaur. In it? What the fuck? <laughs> the future for marbles commentating. Once there's like an official major league gaming marbles league. I've always seen you as the go-to. That's still not the. Where is the freaking key? I'm getting mad. <laughs> Get out of here, Bell Sprout. <laughs> when it's sassy walk, it knows. It knows I'm getting salty. This better be the. If this is not. If this is not the key. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby. Save the secret key, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's keep the keys broken, me. <laughs> what really broke me, though, is the fact that somehow I accidentally left through the secret exit down here. <laughs> Oh no, now it's closed. How do I- No, I'm trapped! No! <laughs> I'm trapped! Just give me out! Electabuzz! I don't have any Pokeballs! Get out of here! Go flex- flex your muscles on somebody else! <laughs> oh, I gotta get out! I gotta push the switch! No, the door is closed! How do I push the switch? Oh no! Oh no! Charmander! Oh, I'll, I'll take a Charmander. <gasps> level 40 Charmander, yeah, hell yeah! Give me, give me a level 40 Charmander. I'm probably gonna accidentally kill it. Oh, I only have Pokeballs. The chances of catching, oh, well. Pokeball! If I hit it again, it's gonna die. Oh, I know what I could do. Wings! Oh. Oh, wings might actually die. Oh, never mind. Paralyze them. Pokeball! I only got two more! God damn it. Alright, we got one more shot. We gotta weaken it. We're gonna wrap it up in Dragonite's big burly arms. Not once. Not twice. But three times. Don't die. Okay, cool. And we're gonna throw the last Pokeball. Yeah! Level 40 Charmander! <laughs> this, has been a, this has been a real roller coaster of a stream. <laughs> so, wait, if I level him up, will he evolve twice? I'm gonna. Well, not that. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Miracle. Because it's a miracle we managed to catch him with only three Pokeballs. Oh, 
We can try and get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm completely out. I'm bone dry on Pokeballs. Get out of here, Licking Tongue. It's freaking right on in here. What is with this place? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, stop! There we go. Now we could use the secret exit. Oh! That was a whole shit show. That was a whole shit show. There were like 30 different Pokemon in there. There's only 150 in the first gen, half, <laughs> no not quite half, but like, a good portion of the Pokedex was in that mansion. <laughs> Including all three legendary birds. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, I think that's all I've got in me tonight. <laughs> I think that's where we're we're gonna we're gonna wrap it on up. <laughs> yeah, none of them were Mudkip. Well, Mudkip's not in Gen One. Mudkip's Gen Three, Trixie. Mudkip didn't exist yet. <laughs> Mudkip was years away from even being born. Mudkip was years away from being born. But that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually, Trixie. Thank you so much, Mill News. <laughs> I was losing my mind. I still, A, can't believe we caught, I can't believe I used my Master Ball to catch a Zapdos. <laughs> I can't believe we caught a Machamp in a regular Pokeball. I can't believe we ran into a level 40 Charmander. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it was fun though. It was a real roller coaster of a stream. So thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out and experiencing that with me. Um, who would we like to raid tonight? Are any of our lovely, amazing streamer friends live right now that we'd like to raid? I'm gonna hop on Twitch. I'm gonna see who's online. Let's see, Kali's on, Sin's on, uh, the True Salt King. I don't know if I ever rated the True Salt King. Ghost is on. I also haven't rated, Ghost rated us. Oh, Seal's Apple. Seal's Apple is here hanging out with us. Seal's Apple is streaming. We're gonna use the Master Ball on a bird. Zapdos is the one. Zapdos is my, uh, I, don't, I like Articuno also. I like all three. Like, I think all the legendary birds are pretty fantastic. Uh, I'm, we're gonna raid our dear friend Seal Zapple. I didn't even realize Seal Zapple streamed. Oh wait, did they, did they just end stream? Uh oh, did they just end stream? Where did they go? No, there they are, okay, Seal Zapple. 
They were just hanging out with us. Like, literally a couple minutes ago. Okay, raid. Seal Zapple. Articuno is best burb. I think I think Zapdos is my favorite. I think Zapdos is my favorite. On a stream of just Joe's pop figures one day, you'll pay three loaded potatoes. Like, you want to see? You want me to show off all my pops? It would take a very long time. I have. I even have more over here. There's even more over here. Like I have. We. I have. Here, this is a preview. I have our boy Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. He's right here. The, the ending of Bleach is very disappointing, but. We still have them in pop form. And I also, I have to find the box for this one. Because apparently this one's worth a significant amount of money now. But it's hollow Ichigo. Apparently this one's actually worth a pretty penny now. Because it was like a limited edition. So I gotta find the box for it. I've got them, I've got them in a, in a tote. The ones that aren't in boxes. I save all the boxes. Oh, well, you haven't watched Bleach. It's, it's worth a watch. The, uh, it, there's a... There's a clear point where the series was supposed to end. And I don't know if it was the author or if it was Shonen Jump or whatever. They wanted the show to go on, so they just pushed past that obvious ending and they made more. And once it got past that point, it was just real disappointing. But yeah, I mean, I can, I can show off some of my pops. I got even more in the other room. Like, I have all my Stephen King-related ones and on my shelf with all my Stephen King books. I've, I think I've counted them, and I have over 200. I'm pretty sure I've counted them. It's it's a problem. It's a real problem. <laughs> All right, we are we are gonna raid our dear friend Seals Apple, who was hanging out with us a little while ago, and I had no idea. I had no idea that they streamed. Uh, apparently they're doing something music related, which is always exciting, and it's something different, so we'll definitely pop on in over there. I'm going to start the raid countdown. There it is, the raid countdown to Seal's Apple. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you. This has been fun. This has been another fun Pokemon Friday. Trixie, thank you so much for purchasing those stream loot packs earlier. Uh, Milnus, thank you for the raid. Marshall, thank you so much for the raid. And Papa Bear Ellie, if you're still here, thank you so much for that raid earlier. I appreciate you guys so much. But I appreciate everyone that's hang here hanging out because you're all you're all absolutely amazing. And I look forward to uh oh uh oh, Gamer May, Gamer May, we're gonna make a super raid because because we've got the raid countdown running already. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. We're getting ready to raid too. We'll make it a super raid. We're going over to our dear friend Seals Apple, who's a, a good friend of the channel and was here hanging out with us a little while ago. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I might get cut off here because I'm, I'm going on a lot longer than I usually do. But everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you tomorrow for some... I forget. I forget what we're playing. Road 96. We're playing Road 96 tomorrow. And maybe some other indie games. I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. See you over at the other end of the raid. Hit Seal's Apple with a glizzy raid. Sorry, Kevin. Sorry, everybody. See you on the other side of the raid.